All right, gamers, welcome back to another episode of Zeri to Diamond. This game playing Zeri Thresh in two Jinx or and I was very confused by that comp. I wasn't sure what I was facing here. But it looks like I made the right choice running Lethal Tempo instead of Fleet Footwork here, since they are running a tank support. If the enemy bolt in was full range, then I might consider Fleet Footwork instead. It's very underrated on Zeri, but she uses it quite well, since she runs around so fast, she generates the stacks for the uh, fleet extremely fast. She doesn't really have any particular Lethal Temple synergy that other ADCs don't have either. So there's no reason for it to be so core on her while uh, Leet is so good on others. Okay, Orna has no flash, by the way, because of a level 1. Uh, we should be able to get Jinx here as well, I hope. Oh, she also has Ghost, though. So, not then. <laughs> Alright, it was worth a shot. I got, well, I basically like, flashed and got her flash and her Ghost, so that's a good summoner straight. And she ends up dying anyway. Nice one, I wasn't expecting that. We'll play that go. There is a chance I will die to Gragas if I use my E to clear here, but... Uh, so this is extremely inconvenient to refresh. By the way, he's tanking this wave, which means I can't line them all up to hit them all with my E. It's actually so annoying. <laughs> what should happen there... I'm, I need the base here. Thresh should be fronting the freeze. What should happen is my E can make me auto-attack this entire wave in a line, but if he tanks half the wave over here and the rest of the wave is here, that is such a slower clear than what we should have been able to do. But it will. Um, I'm actually going to look this up. Do you want to level W here on Zuri, or do you just put another point in Q for extra damage? Hmm. I guess Q is better. Looks like Q is better. Slightly. Doesn't really make a huge difference, it seems. Maybe if I'm full mana, uh, pointed W could be better. Maybe the pointed Q just has a slightly better win rate because people tend to do it when they're too low on mana to use two abilities. So they just stick to having only their E. She should have just autoed me there. I was a bit overextended there, to be honest. We'll ignore the rest of these, yes. Oh, didn't mean to get hit by that. That's fine, though. Ah, it's not fine. I'll get the kill. That's fine. Don't. Nice. Could see him cancel an auto to let me have that. I think the tank support players are the ones that are just most happy to let their ADC have kills, and it's like... Then it's like, or like, mage supports are like the ones that are most want to take the kills, enchanters are like, up there, but like, somewhere in between mages and tank supports. Alright, don't really have time to get this plating, so we're gonna base. Anyway, so, Zuri on patch 14.6. So she's actually been pretty decent recently, just because Static Shiv has been so strong an item in recent times. Uh, actually, we're gonna do... Oh, right, I'm running Inspiration. Yeah, so I gotta do this then. I was considering doing Berserkers. Uh, I should be eating in a base as well, my bad. But yeah, uh, Zeri has been pretty good in recent times because of how good Static Shiv has been, and that being a core item on her just benefits her uh, more than more so than other ADCs, since she was doing Static Shiv anyway. But on top of that, uh, the crit buffs this patch in particular have been a little bit beneficial for her as well. Not so much as other ADCs because of the fact that she doesn't really build Infinity Edge until third item, and therefore Lord Dominic's until fourth item. So she's a bit delayed in when she gets to benefit from the crit changes. But for as far as her scaling is concerned, you know, when she does buy those items, she is, you know, a huge beneficiary beneficiary of them. Oh. This could be good. Uh, I needed to go sooner, actually, if I wanted to kill her. My bad. I didn't notice she was ghosting as well. Oof. Oh, it did some damage. 
Alright, good sickle killed as well, sadly, but... Might be good. We can deny all this farm. There we go. With the wave lined up, it's a lot easier. Got him. I don't care. I can tank this Gragas combo. Like, he's not a threat to me here. Because their support is dead now as well, I don't actually have to base here. I've got the gold for my Shiv, but I can just guarantee that I miss less CS by just sticking around here. So long as we make sure we don't die to a Gragas gank, I'm going to consume a potion for that reason. One thing that is annoying is that I can't use my E aggressively because I would need it to dodge Gragas abilities. Oof, close one. Fuck it. Got her. Yeah, that was a bit risky, but as long as I could land enough shots on you, I would win that. Thought Gragas was there. Nah, she was just playing aggressive because I was lower HP than her. Gragas would have revealed himself ages ago. Jinx wasn't hardly engaging for him, you know? She was just DPSing. Uh, we can probably kill him if I just ult. Nice, huge. Wow, this is a hell of a start. Goddamn. Alright, now we can get the Berserkers. Yeah, Lethal Temple putting in a lot of work in lane so far. 39 second uptime on it at 8 minutes is quite unusual. Definitely is performing better than if he'd been fleet. That's partially because of the matchup, you know, because they have Orn who's so tanky, so you got to hit him a lot. But also just because of, you know, how chaotic the lane has been so far. Lethal Tempo just tends to thrive in these really chaotic lanes, which is something that's not always easy to predict. Unless you duel with a support who you know is a fucking psychopath and gonna engage every five seconds. Ah, that was a bit of an ambitious W, I think. A lot of mana expended there as well. Not worth... Trying to bit Jinx into walking into me here. Oh, how about bad click there? But yeah, if I can bait Jinx into walking into me to try and harass me with autos, right as I'm queuing and walking backwards, she's not gonna get hit on, uh, hit on me, and I will hit her. It gets harder and harder the higher her auto attack range becomes, though, because at a certain point she just can hit me without getting hit back. Nice. Should I ult here? I don't think so. Now I can. Jinx needed to keep leaving. Alright, just barely can't finish the Orn. A lot of good damage, though. Yeah, once... Like, uh, Jinx was able to disengage there with her flash. So I was like, yeah, probably... Ooh, probably not worth ulting her then. Because she's just gonna be too out of range. I might do some damage, but I'm not gonna actually kill her. But then she walked forwards again, and it's like... Yeah, at that point, at that point I know she's too overextended. And I can just... I have enough room to chase her down here to actually kill her. Should be able to show up one more wave here too. Maybe probably shouldn't have bothered with my E here. It's a very critical cooldown. Uh, you don't want to be spamming it willy-nilly, you know? Willy would not be too nilly about it. I don't think that's why that phrase exists, but sounds right. Alright, do I want to do Phantom Dance or do I want to do Renance? So Renance is actually the highest win rate. Uh, of the two Zill items on Zeri. I just like the idea of Phantom Dancer though, because she's really speedy and this gives the most movement speed. Also gives the most attack speed as well. Gives straight up more damage, at least in single target, because of the AD. So the win rate difference to be fair is not that big, so I would say, you know, if you if you do prefer one or the other, you know, there's room for situational or uh, sorry, for uh, personal preference there. So I'm just gonna exert my right to personal preference here. And resort to Phantom Dancer. Maxing E second for more mobility. Brings the cooldown down from 22 seconds to 18 seconds, so 4 second reduction. Not insane, but it does also give a lot more damage from your E passive. I don't know if it's like more damage to the primary target, probably not, but at least in an AoE. 
I'm gonna get this turret? Not really, not yet. But it will be going down soon, that's for sure. This thrash is actually just cracked, what the hell? Wait, he's still going for me. What the hell? I don't think I need to be afraid here, right? Nope. Nice one. No need to flash. No need to panic. Ooh, the turret went down. I don't, we didn't kill that, did we? Oh, and the enemies are surrendering, understandably. Okay, fair enough. GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Zeri to Diamond. This game playing Zeri Zack. No, sorry, what? Zeri Bard into Jinx Zillion. Sorry, I just saw Zack on my screen and I was like, hey, that's Zack. That was my thought process there. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to try something freaky this game. So I've noticed that on Zeri, putting a second point in either W or E as uh, soon as you can, instead of putting a point in Q or, you know, whichever one you didn't put a point into, seems to have a good win rate. And I was looking at it, I'm like, huh, so you actually gained on hit for me, which I'd forgotten about in the previous game. And the amount of on hit that you gain is the same as uh, the base damage you gain on Q. But the difference is that, you know, it's like two damage increase, right? But the difference is that for Q, that's two damage spread out across like six shots. Whereas with the E, it's just straight up on hit, right? So you get more consistent damage at least if you put a point in E on top of also getting more AoE spread on top of getting a lower cooldown on E. So I might try putting like three points in E first and then maxing uh, Q. And it seems like the same thing also happens with uh, W max where that just also, sorry, not the W max, but like one extra point in W just has a better win rate than putting an extra point in Q instead, you know? Anything that isn't maxing Q though is trolling according to stats, but one early point seems to be fine, and I would assume, therefore, that two early points are probably fine as well. Uh, two early extra points, I mean, obviously. Alright, that's unfortunate. An enemy has been slain. They might try and gank me, but I should be really safe here. Like, I think Zillin is probably out in Fog of War because he wants to speed up Warwick there. Oh, no, 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 they're both ganking me. I should have pinged this S, actually, my butt. Alright, but I'm going to put my first point in E here, and we're going to see what happens. So it also reduces the mana cost of my E. But yeah, overall, Q is the majority of your DPS. You do need to max that. There is no other choice except to max Q. But in this early trading, it could be that something else is actually better. Yeah, this could be good. Oh my god, I keep cancelling my fucking passive. What the hell? Alright, E max sucks. Jesus, that was rough. Should have been better, but it will. Alright, that's her flash at least. Good. Flank from the bard. <coughs> Hello, Jinx. Yeah, early wave clear are going to be way better as well with this. If I want to crash this wave, for example. Oh. Which I probably should, but I mean, now the problem is I do have to commit my E cooldown if I want to shove this, and I don't have my support with me anymore, and I think Zillion should be returning bot lane anytime soon. At least I kind of have to assume that he will. So, we're actually going to end up with a pretty shitty wave state here. Alright, now we put up into W. There you can see, base damage from this goes up 2 per level. From this, also goes up 2 per level. The difference is that with Q, you also gain, like, an extra AD ratio on that. Whereas for E, it's only, um... I believe you only get the extra AD ratio in terms of, like, the pass-through, you know? Only if it's an AOE thing does it actually benefit... For, uh, does your AD ratio benefit at all from points in E. Okay, not bad. Yeah, you see, that that Q did 9 damage to the Jinx, right? Because I barely hit her with it. Only part of my Q hit her. Even though I aimed it right, like, some of the Q was just out of range. So if my E was active there, just one simple 9 damage hit is enough to get that uh, bonus 2 damage, right? But if I'm hitting Q, I need the full Q to land for that full 2 damage. You know? That is... Oh, I should be going on Zillion, actually. 
Okay, is that there? Nice one. Yeah, so I'm gonna try on the full on like three points in Q and then max. Sorry, three points in E then max Q. And we're gonna see how that feels. And in case you are having to focus a champion through minions, that is going to be a huge damage increase as well. Like, absolutely massive compared to points in Q. Let's try it now. Still really doing anything, to be honest. Is this... Um, is she not actually getting that bonus on hit, by the way? Does that only affect the first target, or what? Fuck, I have to leave here, sadly. My bard is leaving a bit too early each time. Not waiting for me to shove in the wave. This better not be to the first... First target struck. Oh no, so it's okay. Well, it's still like extra damage in an AoE, but that doesn't apply on hit to everybody, which is how, how I kind of assume that works. My bad. Out here spreading misinformation a little bit. Actually, I don't know if I implied it, but I was definitely thinking it. Alright, so no on hit to the first target, uh, to the like secondary targets, but uh, it's still currently dealing 90% damage to the like uh, AoE, you know, instead of 80%, so that's something. But okay, you still need to be focusing the primary target to benefit from the on-hit. That is important to know. Because there's currently 24 extra on-hit, right? That is actually a lot of damage, so... It is a huge incentive to try and not be hitting them in an, in an AoE, you know? Hitting them through minions, as opposed to just hitting them directly. Oh, hello. My bad. Good damage there. Thankfully being next to a wall there. Even if that those zillion bombs did hit me, there was no chance of anything going wrong there. I even only j even jumped through the wall just to minimize the damage I took. I was always going to be safe there. Yeah, might as well quit these fast because we're not going to be able to slow push here anyway. Oh, I almost got it. Yeah, we're currently also missing out on 8% uh, AD ratio on Q, right? So there is a drawback here. But it mainly comes into effect later on once you actually have AD, right? And also once you have crit. Because the Q point skill with crit, I don't think E does, except if it's in the AoE, right? Alright, and now we start putting points into this thing. No! I just wanted to get to the Drake faster. I don't know what you guys thought I was doing there, but that's just all I wanted to do there. I just wanted to flash into the Drake pit so we could start the Drake. There was no other reason for my flash. Nice. Alright, I need just a little bit more gold for my static shift. So basically, I want to shove in this wave. Well, I don't want to shove in this wave. I want to farm this wave. But I also need the next wave as well. So we're pushing it as slowly as we possibly can. Because if this ends up really pushed super early, I'm going to have to farm my next wave super overextended, which I would rather not do. It's my maybe unavoidable here, though. I do need to at least place a ward here while I'm shoving in this next wave. Hello? Please, I actually want a base, though. I've got my gold now, but I wanted to shove that in. Man, I'm never gonna get a good base, man. This part keeps leaving me when I want to crash and base. Zillum might be roaming as well now, though. Yeah, he is. Which is probably a mistake, because how is he going to get to the fight in time? The fight is already over. Like, he should have stayed in lane and kept abusing me. Uh, the, Jinx still is pro because of how long it was 1v2 for, but... Now with this wave of reset, I should hopefully be able to turn that around. 
I can probably even just all in Jinx here, to be honest. If she uses W and I dodge it, then that's my key to go in. Because I can easily dodge it with E, right? So if we can dodge W and go in, yep, perfect. Mm. Okay. Not going to be able to get a kill from that, but we do some damage. Which is either going to result in an easy crash, ooh, maybe even a dive. Uh, that AoE W was too ambitious, to be honest. Not the AoE one, the uh, through the wall thing. Oh yeah. There could be more than just Zillion there. I say we back out. Because there's no reason for Zillion to flank. So that's the annoying thing is there was no reason for Zillion to flank unless Warwick was with him. Warwick wasn't with him, so it didn't make sense. But I have to respect it as if Warwick is going to be there. Um, This could be quite good, actually. See, I'm partially missing some of these shots. They're not perfect hits. But I'm getting the full... Magic damage on hit anyway. It's so nice. Um, only took me a few seconds to get through that mini wave. That's fine. Nobody was chasing me. It's all good, Riot. I'll let it slide this time. Now, can I finally get the goddamn crash? This goddamn mother fudging wave. Finally. Don't get to go for the plating, but that's fine. We've already got four points in Q, even with the early points in E. Like, we get this maxed by the time we have any sort of, like, de remotely decent uh, number of items. Super quick, right? It's gonna be maxed by level 10. So, I don't think it really made a difference here whether I maxed E or Q. I don't think really much happened in the early game, did it? But, uh, it could be something that makes a difference. I don't know. I'm assuming that it might, like, it might have a good win rate for a reason, or, I mean, if severe low sample size, it could just be a fluke. But it, se it seems to me like it's very, um, consistent. Not just the fact that it's an early point in E that makes a difference, that has a good win rate, but also an early point in W. Like, it kind of seems to imply to me that, yeah, do we, uh, like, Q-Max kills amazingly. But, uh, oh, the hell. But it starts off like shit, you know? Nice, well played Bart. It starts off like shit, you know, it's, it's really bad early game, so you may as well put another point in anything else, is how I interpret that personally. Like, even W, how much do you get for a point in W? Or T extra damage, you know, that is fucking insane. You are never, at level 3 or whatever it is, gonna do more damage with points in... Oop. You were never, at any point, at level 3, gonna get more damage from a point in Q than you are from just a single hit of your W. You could hit somebody 10 times with one point in Q, and it won't out damage hitting them once with W with an extra point in W, right? That is how that is. Uh, I'll sell this, sure. For the E, it's still, like... Probably not amazing. Like, maybe I'll just try a point in W next time, because next time, that is going to be more noticeable impact for sure. Quick <sighs> I don't have E now. Ooh. No! Well, I meant to go through the wall. Man. Thank you. Gonna go place a ward on the try as well. Why do my shots keep missing that? I'm just gonna check that with W so I don't have to face check into Zillion Bombs again, potentially. Like last time. Do they have a ward there? They don't. Then that is good to know. Ah... She either got lucky or just tried to bait out. Every uh, no, I don't think she was trying to bait out every action. 
Seems like she thought to ward initially, which was the wrong move, then she was like, oh, I probably shouldn't do this. Doesn't help that in order to find out whether they had a ward there with a vision plant, I had to give away the fact that I was using a vision plant there. There's no way she based though, right? She shouldn't be basing here. This is just giving up her turret. I can probably ignore her, yeah. Don't even need the ghost, do I? Nope. Nice one. Even if I wasn't really ahead, like Zeri just stomps Jinx and all ends. I just have more explosive damage. She needs to get away there. Oh, come on. My bad. I'd have already got Phantom Dancer, and uh, I'll actually get to test it this time. Remember, you can actually start recalling a Zeri while you're in the middle of your E. It's rarely gonna actually win you a game or anything, it's just... It just feels a little smooth. Would have been nice if Karma went bot. Nice, I do a really good damage right now. I got really good movement speed. Look, this 422. Man, I should have back more snacks. Movement speed is great on Zeri. That's also why I run magical footwear. Ooh. Nice one, Bard. Already knew she didn't have flash, so. I should stay top lane here, just take this turret. Might be that Darce would've just got it solo anyway, but I didn't know that. Nobody seems to be defending. Uh, we should just stay with him for now, actually, because... Two enemies are dead, one is not basing, I don't know where the other one is. Might be able to get this, though, this is super worth it if we can. Oh man. Alright, to Midland we go. That was a huge debate on Twitter recently about whether to go uh, Navori or Infinity Edge on Zeri. Personally, I prefer Infinity Edge, but. Who knows? Definitely true that pretty much the only thing Navori offers you is just lower cooldown on E. And it also technically, I guess, your W does more damage uh, when it's not passing through a wall. With Infinity Edge, though, your W crits, so it benefits more from Infinity Edge, I would assume. Ah, oh, everybody ping those wars before me. Oh, nice one. Nice. Oh, man. Um. Yes, Melt is going forwards. No, what? Oh, wait, okay. Must have got hit by more than I realized there. My bad. Zeri again. Not an FPS, what? What does he say again? 
No idea. Yeah, my bad. I, didn't, I got a bit tunnel vision done, not wasting my ult there. I should have just backed out. Bigger disengage is just too strong. I should have accepted it. The moment he uses ult, my engage is wasted with ult. Uh, sorry, the moment he uses E, my engage with ult is wasted. Four hundred and thirty-seven out of combat movement speed. Reference. Oh, my bot is actually has even more. Not a good example. Thurus is four hundred four, and he actually. Well, he got he has some in combat movement speed from these items, but not out of combat. Mm, okay, I really shouldn't have ulted there. Thought it would be a bigger fight than that. Jesus, man. So thank you. Alright, now we can do Baron for sure. Oh, actually, I could have done Fleep in this game, I guess. Like, if you look at my Lethal Temple uptime right now, for example, uh, I literally have less uptime at 22 minutes than I had at uh, 6 minutes, was it? Or 8 minutes in the previous game. You know, the consistent, like, the value of uh, Lethal Temple is very, very inconsistent. And especially, it's not going to be too high on average if you're facing a double ranged lane. I can go do red buff. To go on zero here or a jinx. Good thing I didn't because there's a Warwick there now. Mm, I think she's gonna be dead here. Oh, it's probably didn't kill her. I think I'm fine here though. Easily. Nice one. Ow. <coughs> Does my Eon hit effect to Ritz? Okay, it doesn't. Alright, I will... Probably get Raptors in base, or... Yeah, I have time to base. Or we should get the red buff. Nice. I don't think my team needs me for the streak, to be honest, so I'm just gonna base. Also, to maximize my damage, I'd go Lord Dominix. Maybe I still will, uh, may even before upgrading this, but to be honest, I can just build a Zeal here. Zeal is really good on Zeri because, you know, more movement speed, more attack speed. Actually, my attack speed is capped, so that's fine. I'll just get more AD instead, but more movement speed, mainly. Really good for Zeri to make sure you're always in range to keep your ultimate stacked. Just synergizes with their place also greatly. That's why I think you can actually do Fentanancer and Runance, probably. It involves skipping Bloodthirster, so I mean, if, if anything, I think you'd build one of them and then maybe later on sell it for Bloodthirster, because Bloodthirster is overall a better item, but relative to cost, you can probably just go with, uh, you know, whichever Zeal item you didn't build. Oh my god, my damage onto Jinx, by the way. Nice one. Oh god! 
Fucking exhaust! Thank god I'm alive. Didn't get him. Oh well. Four hundred and thirty-seven with a speed in combat is really nuts. Ah. I think we can just get out of here. We got all well. I don't actually have anything to base for unless I've got. Well, I could just sell Doran's blade and get Lost Whisper. That is true. Also, I'm beginning to think maybe cut down is not worth it on Zeri. Should be fine here. I hope. Yeah. I don't know about going in there though. Ah, uh, fuck it. Nice one, we slowed him with W. Nice. Can I get him? Ah, uh, too fast. We got the turret, right? Yeah, alright. I say mission successful. Probably would have been more valuable to get the inhib, to be honest, but whatever. Baron is up again in about a minute, so that's going to be easy, extremely easy to end on. But, yeah, no, nah, I can complete my runes here, so that just makes the most sense to me, to be honest. Anyone smurfing? Me? Never. God damn, 474. That is out of combat with the Cloud Drakes, though, so... This is also in a Cloud Zone, so not, also not a great example. 443, co uh, like, in combat most speed. God damn. By this point, it would be a lot higher as well if we actually had Celerity instead of Magical Footwear, but Magical Footwear is just the fastest way to get a lot of movement speed. Yeah, if you like early Berserkers on Zeri, you should just do Clarity with Gathering Storm. You can also do Resolve Secondary. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, definitely no need to ult here then. <laughs> Jesus. Dude, these portals are nuts. Did that too early. That's fine. Nice. Ah, I didn't know Severga W, my bad. He's fine. Alright, GG. Alright, gamers, just a reminder that if you are enjoying this video, uh, subscribe to the channel always helps. Additionally, if you want to support my dream of bringing a fellows to life, you can also sub to support that. That is right, we are bringing a fellows to life. We're going to take a man, we're going to make him better, stronger, faster. We're going to give him a fellows' guns. We do not have the technology. We do not have anywhere near remotely close to the technology. That's why we need money, lots of money. For money, we need subs. So if you want to do your part to bring a fellows to life, make sure to get subbing. Become a part of history. Hashtag bring a fellows to life. Anyway. Uh, this game we're going to be playing Zeri Janna into Twitch Sona. Uh, I believe this is the first bot lane today, right? The where they're both double ranged, both squishies. So we're going to be using Fleet this game. <clears throat> we'll show that off. Should be quite good. There is a chance Twitch will pop up in stealth here. Probably should just be using regular Qs actually instead of my auto attack. But I want to be able to trade onto Twitch as soon as he pops up if he does. Yeah, so that's kind of a wasted advantage of the Twitch. 
Q. When you start Q as level 1 on Twitch, it pretty much gives you a free auto attack. Onto the opponent. How am I not last setting any of these? <laughs> Alright, we got the level 2. Nice, pretty decent start. Alright, so in the last game, which for me was like two days ago, I've been lazy since then. <laughs> uh, we discussed just putting one or two extra points in something other than Q, so I think we'll try W this time. The other thing about W is though, that overall we do want to max E second, but a second point in W would be like the best thing for the early lane phase. <clears throat> It does increase our mana costs overall by 10, though. Whereas, putting an extra point in E actually reduces them by 5. So that is another consideration. Even though it does more damage early on, it could still be worse for that reason, by making you worse with mana. Honestly, that wasn't even worth it. I did so little damage with that. That was really good, though. Alright, we're gonna put a, put a point in W now. Uh, I thought that would reach, even without putting it through the turret. Alright, we do need to- Oh! Oh! Do need to place a ward, I was gonna say. Well, that's inconvenient. Uh, I might just base then. I don't know, who's their jungler? Master Yi. I think I'll just base. Is it kind of awkward? Because this isn't, like, where I would want to leave the wave. It should still be fine, though, because once this wave pops up, it should start pushing towards us. Sorry. No amount of apologizing is gonna undo the fact that I just stumped my laner. To end up behind in a 2v2. You can't unint yourself, Jana. I'll say in chat that it's no problem, but it's a problem. Nice. Anyway, the whiff set was decent, as you can see, but it didn't really deny as much as we could have if it had been a lot better. I didn't miss more than Twitch, but I definitely didn't, like, maximize my advantage in a way that I should have if, um, Twitch was forced to base in a bad spot like that. The main reason why I couldn't just try and crash, which, like, I had the wave clear, right? I could do it, but it would, revolve at, it would involve at least warding for Yi, or, and, and if I do that, then I'm, like, reducing the amount of time that I can spend just pushing like it's gonna de gonna delay the crash maybe i won't even get to crash that wave i could try and push without warning but then i might get kinked by Yi and die you know it's a bit complicated anyway uh i can actually bend this out a bit i think i don't want to trade into twitch's poison all right he wasted he i was gonna keep backing out until the poison ran out there was no point trading like that when i'm already starting off at a disadvantage I could have potentially done Resolve this game, actually, since we're facing Twitch. Basically an Assassin ADC. <sighs> One day we'll get to see how much damage that is actually dealing with an extra point in it. Like I said, though, it should be a uh, plus 40 damage, right? What the hell? That was a weird exhaust. Oh, she just stole a it. Oh yeah, and of course that plus 40 damage leads to a lot more than just 40 if we actually get the crit through the wall. I'm gonna just put points in Q now. You can definitely see that trying to take on a playstyle like this though results in a lot of mana used. That's why I think I might just prefer the points in E. It's a lot more debatable, or, yeah, more debatable whether the point in E is worth it over just maxing Q, though. 
I'm already at full stacks here, so there's like no downside to continuing to trade. It's not the ideal trade, but the damage is done, right? Oh, hello, ye. It is both the best time and the worst time for me to place that ward, because it detected ye, but it just gets immediately cleared, which is kind of annoying. Oh, you didn't clear the pink. You should have known it was there. <clears throat> what he might be trying to do, potentially, is to listen to full sense of security, because he left the vision, so he's like, ooh, so now they're going to think they're safe. They're not going to expect this flank from behind, but that's why I'm going to ward there. It's very unlikely that's his thought process. A higher or jungler might think to do that. I really doubt you would think of that. Oh, he just rushed Drake. It was just tunnel vision on Drake. Fair enough. That was a fast one, though. Fast and healthy, as usual. Anyway, this lane doesn't really need to be going any better. We should outscale. At least I should be outscaling Twitch. Sona, to be fair, does outscale Janna. Oh my lord. Ah, that's a misclick. I meant to press S there. I mean, I did press S, it's just not the only thing that I pressed. At least it's not my flash, though. I belong here. We all belong here. Haven't even had to use a single summoner all game. Watch now me either miss out on a kill or have to flash or die because I don't have ghost. <laughs> Alright, I want to try and crash this. I can't use my E though because Twitch could pop up at any second. I might need that for safety. Twitch now has level 6 as well. Alright, let's just hope I can base here. I managed not to get hit by the Twitch poison actually. Or did I? No, no, no. I just blended in with my hair because it's green. Nice. You can actually get slowed by the Twitch Poison though and just not get a stack if you're fast enough to walk out of it. There's a very weird delay on it. Alright, uh, I'm not going to bother with a refillable this late into the lane. Still quite far away from boots since it's been a fairly passive lane. Since the level 2. Alright, we're gonna push this very slowly. To create a slow push, slash, freeze, slash, whatever we want. Whatever we can get. Yeah, not exactly a freeze. Never a freeze from here, really, but not unless they actually push, if they would be dumb enough to do that. If we actually wanted to freeze, but we don't necessarily. There's not much advantage to freezing here besides, uh, like, making them gankable and keeping us safe, but, like, it's a fairly actionless lane anyway, and we also have to increase the amount of minion aggro we take during trades if we do that. Just keeping the wave on this side of the map, though, is actually quite decent. I've not been using W much, by the way, but I, like I said, I guess it's been a super safe matchup either way. There hasn't exactly been much downside to not having points in Q either. Oh, okay. So I'm not going to board of how passive this lane has been then. Is there an AD ratio increase to this as well? No. Just the base damage. Ow. Took a lot of poison stacks for no reason there. Doesn't matter if it doesn't use E though. Can we go Master Yi here? Nice. Literally just nothing happening.
Nice work, Asana. Yeah, I guess maybe W Max just works better if you want to play aggressive. I don't necessarily want to play aggressive here, though. Maybe it could also work better with like a lockdown support, so you have some like really nice follow up to their engage. Maybe I could have ulted there to Tranquil Twitch. Remember, Twitch is heal and I don't. There's a chance if he pops up here, he could maybe beat us. I doubt it, because we are a lot burstier than him. You can also walk up here, hit this turret with fleet. There we go, get a big, nice burst of healing there. Alright, looks like he's basing. Nice, we got the plating. And now I'm just going to use my E to show this foster. Don't think I need to use ult for this. The wave wasn't even, like, perfectly lined up, but it's still, like, really good wave clear. There is wave clear when you can actually safely use E. It's actually pretty decent in the early game. Especially if you can actually line up the entire wave to get hit with HQ. I forgot to do the E again. So we got a 30 CS lead pulled completely out of my ass. So that's nice. Probably, I should probably just be straight up ahead of Twitch now as well, especially because of all these platings, I guess. But even without them, just, uh... Got so much gold out of that CS, it's crazy. Nice. What? She might be trolling. I was just sitting slightly outside of her range there and just threw Q at her. So if uh, if it, if she doesn't walk forwards, nothing happens. And if she does walk forwards to try and trade, then she just walks into my Q and I just walk out of her range. So I get a free hit there. So basically how you want to play Zeri. It's just throwing Q from outside of range and just making it so they either can't trade with you at all. Or if they want to trade, they're walking into you and just you're not getting hit back. They're all walk for us because I got my passive, but otherwise, like... Or, I mean, also, you could also just walk into their range if you know you're gonna win the trade, right? Oh my god, that was <laughs> quite a close one. I guess uh, I forgot I got, forgot about a seal there, maybe? Where's Master Yi is the question here. They have a ward there for some reason? Okay, he's topside. So we should get shoving one wave, right? I want Sonnet to finish her base so I can use my E nice and carefree here. And look at that wave clear. Alright, need to get out of here. Hmm. Topside not doing so good. Talon doing pretty well, but just had his first death. I was about to lose that turret. Not good. And another one. This is unfortunate. Nice. I'll walk out of that to minimize the damage I take. Alright, now we're gonna start maxing E, not W. We can maybe gank a lobby here. Oh man, the map is an absolute disaster. Even though the, K the KDA, or like the team score isn't too bad, but... Oh, what the hell? What, what the hell? Ooh, fucking Alawi thing randomly hitting me for no reason. Alright, get me out of here. Must you use flash, right? Or no, actually, I think it was just ult. It was Alawi that flashed. So, her no flash, him no ult. I'm gonna ignore this fight because I'm too low to follow it up anyway. If Balin wants to take turret, that's fine, I'll let them take the turret. The bright side is that they're kind of like taking themselves off the map while they're taking this turret, which allows me to try and help my team out. If we can get a shutdown onto Alawi, for example, that would be huge, so let's try and get that. Yes, huge. Okay, perfect. So that is worth giving up my turret for. Okay, I really didn't need to go there. I thought there might be some attempt at running from her. <laughs> there was not. Let 
Another advantage of just letting my turret fall is that now in future, when I'm try when I or when me or anybody else wants to catch waves from bot lane, uh, instead of having to go get it as soon as they push it to the way all the way to the, like here, there's more leeway. You know, it can be pushed all the way there before we have to go and pick it up, which gives us a lot more freedom on the map. Losing that ball in turret is not necessarily just straight up downside. You know, I don't. That's I'm not. That's not to say that you should just give it up. You know, it is free gold for the enemies. But if you're giving giving it up for a good reason, you know, like if if it's to impact the map elsewhere, like to pick up the herald, to gank top, to get the top lane turret, uh, you know, even just to get a thousand gold shutdown on the Alawi that's over here, then that is well worth it. I probably should have based already. I'm actually sitting on a huge amount of gold, but. Let's see if I can get away with shoving in this wave now that I'm here. Alright, nice. Uh, the, especially because there's a Drake coming up, I really need to get this base off. I'm letting my team know. Hopefully they don't get into a fight, but there's a decent chance that they do, and it's partially on me if I'm not there for that, because I should have based already. Wasn't uh, focused. The Lawi could be an issue here. Didn't ult, did he? No. Oh my god, she has 100 CS up on Jax, by the way. Okay, nice. Nice. Okay, huge, guys. Let's get the Drake and maybe base for Lawi, if necessary. I'm assuming she can probably dab the Jax, or at the very least ignore him and take turret, but we'll see. I don't know this base already. Ah, oh, the hard thing is I, can't, I have to look. I have to like fucking keep the map or keep the camera on myself. Yeah, I need the base here. It's so annoying though that I can't just focus the Drake while uh, looking elsewhere because I have to fucking look at the Drake. She might be overstaying here. Is the reason why I'm just gonna keep on basing here instead of canceling it because I could get a lot of free farm there, but just being way too greedy right now, honestly. Nice. Oh, there's a fucking Aurelion Soul here. I didn't get an assist on him, sadly, but... We won another fight, so that's good. Where, where did he even come in, dude? I didn't, didn't even see him. Just noticed I was losing a ton of HP. <clears throat> oh, he TP'd. Oh, dude, I did think I noticed the TP, but I thought I imagined it or something. Don't ask me why I thought I imagined a TP that was clearly there, but... Yeah, she, he tipped on a tentacle, actually. <laughs> That's funny. No, he tipped on a minion. Oh, never mind. I think you maybe can TP onto tentacles, though. I don't see any reason why not, but maybe it's hard-coded not to. I got a nice convenient wall over here if I need to escape into it. Nice one, Talon. Nice one, Shaco. Looks like uh, it's disaster averted as to the map state. Last couple of kills in the law, we seem to have changed everything. Oh, what? How is she dead? What the fuck? Nice one. Oh yeah, they made us a Navori bolts out of BF sword again. That's really nice, I like that. I don't think I want to do Navori though. We'll need a lot of damage, I think, for this Alawi. And our cutting should be fine with just movement speed. Whoa. I must when Zarya steal shields. <laughs> nice one, though. Alright, I can base immediately, so let's do that. And the next item should probably just straight up be Lord Dominic, because this lobby is very tanky. Uh, what is this Sona building? 
She's not building jack show, is she? Either way, I guess Lord Dominic uh, will end up being useful for that, potentially. <clears throat> nice one. <laughs> See, us is pretty good. No. I just had to say something. He walks into me, walks into my Q. Hmm. He's actually moving too slow when he's in his EQ to actually walk into my shots. Wouldn't say his area is particularly any good in Thrill Insult. My W doesn't even reach. <laughs> Unless I do it through the wall, I guess. It's too risky to jump in here at the moment. Oof, almost got Twitch at least. Alright, Drake is up in 20 seconds. Masji seems to be pushing top. I don't know what he's doing. I'm not doing much with this Baron, but just the fact that we got it at all is just a lot of gold in our pockets and XP. Yeah, the space just to be safe because he might just choose to keep on pushing there. Alright, nice, I got my Lust Whisper. That's why I went for Longsword here. Since I could build it soon anyway. If I was pretty far away from that, I might just choose to go Quick Cloak. <clears throat> yeah, that Sona did go Jack Show for some weird reason. Talk about KDA play. Building a full tank item on a champion that is not a tank to make it harder for yourself to die. Can't really stop a lobby here, sadly. Nice one. It is a little bit risky to keep on pushing here, but I don't think they would expect me to. I don't think they're going to be pushing, they're going to be trying to punish this. It would be weird if they're already pre-walking here. I don't have anything to base for here, but it is just the safest way to group again. Uh, I guess I'll just sell my Doran's Blade. Ooh, I'm running cut down this game. I didn't mean to, but I've been getting some good use out of it. I think generally, Zeri's probably not the best cut down user because she does have a lot of base HP. Uh, especially because most Zeri's actually use Resolve. That would make it even worse to do cut down with that. We're not doing Resolve though, so it's been fine so far. Mostly because this Lawi is tanky as hell. Even the Sona, like, there's just no reason for it to be this tanky. Rylan Sol also getting a lot of HP there. So, accidental use of cut down, but it's paying off. Simultaneously trying to hit the Raptors while also hitting the Brush for Vision. Nice. A lot of damage from that one, goddamn. Oh, fuck. Should be fine, I don't know about Janna though. Let's just base. I've got Lord Dominic's anyway.
Alright, so next item I think is best in a full build is Bloodthirster. Hang on. Nice. I think it's Bloodthirster, but, you know, as we've done in previous games, I'm, I'm probably just going to do Runans because it's a lot cheaper. The component of Runan, of oh, sorry, of Zeal is a lot better than any component at this stage, I would say, of Bloodthirster. In early game, it would have been BF Sword, but at this late stage, I would say it's Zeal. For the moment, speed and crit. Crit being very important since we have Infinity Edge. And then, if we want to sell... Oh, hang on. I'm going to have to try and kill someone here. Get us one kill. May if I'd known Talon was coming, maybe I could have kited a little bit harder, but that's fine. Yeah, and then if the game goes long enough, I can always just sell Phantom Dancer or Runance for Bloodthirster. I would probably sell Phantom Dancer, to be honest, but I just feel like that's stronger in the early game and uh, Runance is better late game. Also get a lot of life steal from the Renan's Bloodthirster combo. Oh, and currently our excess attack speed is being converted into AD. I wonder how much exactly exactly how much AD that is. Because we're already at the attack speed cap, and every time we auto attack something with Phantom Dancer, we get more attack speed, or go AD, so I'm wondering how much more AD I get from that, just out of curiosity. And we're currently moving at 453 movement speed, that's out of combat with the Cloud Drake in combat. Uh, it's hard to say because I'm fucking being attacked by the slowing Drake now, but... Still a lot. I'm also being sped up by Janna, though. Alright, nice. That's all for us. I am just... Ooh, yeah, they're on that. Oh, dude, I didn't mean to walk into that. Alright, managed to exit the range. Let's hope I don't get hit by more of this. Fucking hell. She really wants me. Ow. I wish I declared the ward, actually. Alright, I can base- ooh. Yeah, I'll want the base. They're also gonna be pushing here, so that's fine. <laughs> ADCS up on Twitch. Oh my god, I lose all my HP from fucking Alawi E alone. Wait, what? Oh, what? I didn't even notice the fucking tentacle on me. Dude, seriously, all from Alawi E and... I guess her passive is dodgeable, right? Or maybe it was during her ult? That is all- no, that is all her E, though. I don't think I got hit by a tentacle there. Except at the very end. But uh, that was an invisible tent. Like, at least I lost it, I didn't see. I straight up did not see. That I also, like, would not have guessed was gonna hit me, and I also can't, like, see it. That's really weird that I died like that. What the fuck? Ooh, actually, but rather than sell like, either of these zeal items, actually. No, I don't even want to sell those. I want to sell Static Shift. Static Shift skills like shit. I can sell that for Blood Toaster. It does more damage, don't get me wrong. It does more damage than either one of these. Particularly of Runance and single target. But at this point, it's not like a huge damage difference, whereas the mobility is huge for me. Nice. Alright, how much do I even sell this for? 1800. So I can't really sell it for Bloodthirster yet. Why am I even going back in the base? I'm fine. <laughs> I might even get this if I'm not careful. There we go. I am very close to being able to sell Static Chef. I really wish it had gone onto any other lane. Ready. 
There we go. Perfect. All that I have right now is Elixir. Still over the attack speed cap. Alright, I want to actually see for now for realsies. How much AD I get. Huh. I got a lot of AD actually from that, just from the Phantom Dancer. Crazy. I don't need to be taking all of these. I'll leave these for Shaco. I do still need gold for an elixir, and then I could also sell boots. For opportunity. I assume that's gonna be good, even on Zeri. Yeah, again about uh, 30 AD almost. Just from the Phantom Dancer passive. So actually, you know what? I think I do get more damage out of Phantom Dancer than out of um, Static Shift. Okay, Master Yi currently bought us. Worth considering just rotating on him, collapsing on him. If my team would be willing to follow it up. Nobody seems to be listening to me though. But he might just be greeting, he might just be full on pushing. When you have Pyro mid, it is so incredibly greedy to split push. At the moment though, my team aren't in a position where they would actually punish it. For now, it doesn't seem like he's going to continue pushing. Ooh. Could be a good fight. Nice. Yeah, but that's exactly what I'm talking about. <clears throat> There's two to deal with. That sucks. We're probably gonna lose the double inhibs. I'll try and kill a lawy, but it's fucking hard. If she hits me with E, by the way, I'm done. Okay, good. Oh, I just barely didn't get her. Get the mini wave, rather. Dude, her fucking tankiness is absurd. There we go. What about Yi? Yeah, he took the inhib as expected. Sucks. This, uh, how to not use your mid lane prowl 101 is not collapsing on split pushers. I'm really close to being able to get opportunity, by the way. That should. Be quite a significant damage increase, I believe. We'll lose some movement speed, but hopefully it'll be worth it. All right, nice. I could base for it now, but I think with two enemies dead, we have to try and abuse this somehow. Let's try and get a turret or something. Gotta hold on to my E, because I don't know, you know, there could always be a Twitch popping out of somewhere. I probably just beat him, because I am full build and he's not, but... Could also be with, like, an Aurelian Soul or something. Alright, the enemies have revived. I'm gonna base here. Remember, we also don't have Shaco, he also based, so... They're going for a play there. It could be good, but they need to make sure they're getting out and not getting into anything too extended. Nice one. Um, sort of their here. Opportunity here. Get this. Nice. Alright, so how much movement speed are we gonna have? How much AD? It's definitely a significant AD increase, I believe. Movement speed at 418. That's out of combat with the Drake, but still quite a lot of movement speed to have without boots. We did actually lose the attack speed cap, though, on this thing, which is not necessarily a bad thing. 
Because we're really close to it anyway. I think Phantom Dancer gets us back to the cap. So we're just going to lose out on... We're going to get actual attack speed from Phantom Dancer again, rather than getting AD indirectly. Um, There's two lanes pushing. This is very risky, to be honest. Like, if we do something here, it has to be really fast. Just try and get her. Alright, that's her dead. Is Master you pushing? Yeah, he is. I'm gonna base. It's obvious from the way he's just not defending, right? Ooh, thank god my base didn't get cancelled by Rolling Soul. That could have been a disaster. Okay. He's got a more Q now. Alright, he's dead. One next to start is not uh, the end of the world. I don't need to farm anymore, but I do need to wave clear. <laughs> I have to be better safe than sorry with that flash, by the way. I don't know if he would have watched on me, I'm not willing to find out. Nice one. Gonna get the red buff. Yeah, of utmost importance right now is just pushing out lanes, so we don't randomly have Yi just randomly deciding to show himself on the map here, giving us very little time to react, because there's conveniently away from here, right? If he wants to start split pushing, he should be starting to push from here, so it's very clear to us what he's doing well in advance, right? It doesn't give us much warning at all if he's suddenly getting to join a pushed wave there. That's why we need the waves to be pushed out. So, this is good. This is good. I also need to be pushing out this, so that if they collapse on either one of my teammates, then I'm also in position to actually do something with that. Alright, and we'll go bot now. The great thing about getting the mid lane hub is now we can group on one of the lanes that you wanted to split push. Nice. Now there's only one lane they can split, unless they want to push mid, right? But... Can I ignore this? I don't know how much damage it does. It looks to be fine for now. Nice one. Oh, Twitch is ulting. We'll just let that time out. Oof, almost had him. This doesn't do that much damage, does it? I think I can sit on that so long as I'm safe to get CC'd by it. Fuck me, I'm actually dead. What the hell? Was that entirely to fucking allow a W and passive? What the fuck? No skill shots or anything. That champion is absurd, man. It would be easier to handle if I wasn't playing a champion with literally only 500 auto attack range, but yeah. Well, her Q is a little bit higher, though. I think it's 4 to 5 if Aloy's not walking into me, and that's the problem, is Aloy doesn't walk into me, she just stands there. <laughs> and, I, and I just happen to be in her range. Yeah, it is a little bit higher than auto range. Yeah, there's not really anything else I can do with my build here. Unless I want to sell, like, opportunity for GA. But that would be a huge damage loss. And a movement speed loss as well. Alright, but that should probably be game now, though. If they can get through Alawi. Or they could just ignore her.
I shouldn't have ulted either here, to be honest. That was a huge waste. It's still going. No, it's not. Anyway, it got her dead, I guess. Nice one. I just life's still load all up. Alright, GG. <laughs> Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Zeri to Diamond. This game playing Zeri Lulu into Ash Morgana. Gonna be running Cleanse this game since Cleanse is gonna be useful into both of these opponents. Ash in particular after level 6. Sucks to not have Ghost, but it is what it is. Gonna be running Fleet again since once again we're facing the wolf ranged. Enemy comp shouldn't be too tanky in the late game. Didn't expect the enemy comp to be too tanky either though, but that allow you was just absurdly tanky somehow. So the fleet probably helped a lot at many points. It was giving a lot of healing. Ow. That's fine. Mostly just gonna try and avoid interacting with Ash for the most part, since it's kind of hard to um, pressure her when her auto attack range is so high. I do scale, like, we both scale better in this lane than either one of them anyway, so that should be fine. I think she's just a little bit. Of, oh, what the hell? I didn't think that would hit. She was a little bit overextended there, but. Wasn't, oh my god, I might need to flash her? Yeah, I'll need to flash her. Oh, okay, at least it's a one for one. That's an ideal. That was uh, fucked up in many ways, my bad. Let's just do coal. Oh, and I can... No, uh, no, I don't have E. We'll use E to jump this wall instead. Yeah, main mistake there was, uh, I guess, getting hit by an Ash W through the mini wave, which I didn't think would land. Aside from that, I think the idea that I had there was fine. I didn't flash immediately on purpose. I just slightly mis-executed it. I needed to uh, not delay my flash quite so hard, but at the same time, it's nice to try and bait out the Ash flash there when I'm going to have to flash anyway. Because there is, after she did that first auto, and I was one other attack away from death, we know she's going to try and flash onto me. Um, so we can try and like wait a little bit, because if I flash immediately, it just signals to her, okay, she's out of range, no point flashing on her anymore. So, I had the right idea, but just messed up messed up execution there. Alright, we'll try a uh, second point in E here. Nice one, decent trade there. Oh, what? Wait, how did that not make me go through the wall? I would review that, but I need to fucking keep on leaning. But I swear to god, that was right into the wall. I wanted to drag out the trade onto Ash. Oh well. Let's try and push here. I want to try and all in again once I've got the. I missed one. Uh, Lulu, Lulu, Lulu. Oh fuck me, I'm panicking now. Okay, we got the one for one trade. Uh, did she have a good reason for walking away there? I'll just trust that she did. That was unexpected for me, though. Alright, won't, won't be getting boots for a while, so I'm fine to do a push in here. Ooh. So she wanted, I guess, to join here? Oh, that is insanely unlucky, by the way. Lulush? Mm, maybe could get the kill, but she doesn't have mana. That's unfortunate, man, in so many ways. But the enemy bot lane definitely did not realize when I took that trade that that was going to be, um... Fucking 2v1. I want to cancel her base, but 
Like, if I stop to use W there, it's gonna cost me the cannon. <laughs> Maybe I should have tried the loss of the cannon with W. I don't know if that would have worked. And then I could dash forwards and cancel the base. I actually can't proc my passive on her, though. This is actually really annoying. I literally cannot get in range for my passive. She outranges me too hard. Oh, oh, she's on it. Okay. I'll put another point in E. Nice one. And this should be free for us. Oh. Come on. Careful, Lolo. You don't want to be taking that trade. Hmm. I don't think we should be fighting here, to be honest. No, he's dead. That was terrible. We needed to finish the Drake and then maybe consider fighting back. Not have one person fighting back while the rest of us are finishing Drake. Nice one. And we had cleanse there. She didn't even have an ignite, so she didn't really ever have the damage to kill me there, to be honest. That was too greedy of her. What? Yeah, oh, Akshan. Oh, wow, that actually came really close to killing me. I should still only level 5, but ooh, that's not good middle. Oh, wow, he ended up all the way over here. What the hell? Alright, I'm gonna just try and get that CS I was gonna say, but never mind. Oh. Oh, come on. My bad, I wanted to get out of there at that point. You should hopefully die here. Whoa! Oh, he's over there, thank god. I thought he was gonna be going down there, I don't know why he went there. Okay, nice. Uh, get this, get this. Oh man, balling could definitely be going better. Seven kills in the ash, what the hell. At least that's a big shutdown on her. CS-wise, we're not doing too bad. A little unfortunate that she's getting all of the kills. Yeah, I'll be honest, as for like my, ult my alternate skilling order, I really don't notice the difference. <laughs> it really does just not seem to make as much of a difference, either positive or negative as far as I can tell. Then again, if, if the difference is that small, then it could be that it is beneficial. Even if I can't tell, but yeah, like, personally, I'm just... I can't really say whether it is good or not. Just by personal feels. Yeah, this Ash matchup seems to be quite rough. I literally cannot ever hit, hit her with my passive. Not just because of the range difference, but also because... Um, the slow just makes it so even if I'm kiting towards her to get in her range to hit her with my passive, I just can't. So all I can actually do is just walk away from her while throwing Q. That is, That seems to be all I can really do in this matchup, unless I'm going to dive her with my E. You know, if I'm dashing forwards to get a trade-off, that seems to be the only way I can really proc my passive. And even then, I have to be, like, really confident that the fight is going to be favorable if I do that. Even here, like, it's really hard to get her to walk into my shots again because of the range advantage. Careful, Lulu. Nice one. Decent trade there. An ally has been slain. Okay, I'm gonna go on Asher. Uh, never mind. Okay, I have to now. No, come on, I was so close. Fuck, wait, I'm so tilted. Did my cleanse only just come up as well? Fuck, yeah, maybe I should have waited for that. At a good angle there, though, because I wanted to get... <laughs> then we're gonna spell shit out of But basically, I've got a lot of magic damage from both my passive and my ult explosion. So Morgana's standing all the way over here while Ash is here. That was probably, like, the one angle I was gonna get to get all of my magic damage burst off without it getting uh, cancelled out by the Morgana spell shield, right? So the logic there was pretty sound. It just barely did not get the overall win, though. Maybe I should have waited for cleanse, I don't know. But it, it, they were gonna be engaging onto me soon as well. can try and win this. We need to focus Ash, though. Nice, huge. Okay. 
Shame I couldn't get more there because of the minion block, but oh well. <laughs> Decent though, I got the shutdown, so that's enormous. Oh, hello, I'm dead. Try and waste of as, as much of his time as possible. Nice, even baited the ult. Nice one. But the main thing I want to do is drag him away from Lulu, so there's zero chance that Lulu dies there. Yeah, funnily enough, because I ended up getting the shutdown, which uh, was a thousand gold shutdown, my miscalculation earlier might have actually ended up working out for the best. Obviously not as well as if I had um, just simply won that fight, but... Uh, if this got, if that ended up getting me a kill that I otherwise would not have gotten, then it's worth it in hindsight. Obviously, it does not mean necessarily that the call was right, but it worked out. I'm gonna use ult here just to be absolutely safe. Shot down from that guy too now. Can't get anything else here. Ooh, she's got go, so I might be fucked here, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm probably dead here. Sadly, I didn't expect that. Just barely didn't dash away in time. Yeah. Ash, not as hard as the Vayne matchup, which is what I'm perma banning at the moment, but does seem to be a fairly tough Sarah matchup. Obviously not just because in hi just because you know after the fight she's ended up ten and three, but like the early laning, I could just tell like these are not the trading patterns I would like to go for. An ally has been slain. Mm, going for this ward might be greedy, but it would be nice. Oh, hello. Yeah. I will die here eventually, obviously. I'll try to hand it over only to Diana. There we go. No assist for the Ash. On the bright side, that does buy some... Uh, like, uh, space for the rest of my team. Should I try Renance here? Sure. We've done not most- I think we've only done Phantom Dance a second up till now, haven't we? No, that's not good. So much for buying some space for the rest of my team, they just end up getting 3 man to top lane anyway. So, so that means somebody should have been able to push that mid wave, but sadly I think a run is all recalled right at that moment, so that's a bit unfortunate. Gotta be careful here, actually, Ash could be around. No, I see her mid now, but at the time I didn't. Things, if I rotate mid here, I might not be able to save the turret anyway. Much rather just stay here where I can get free farm and then maybe get a chance at trading one for one with turrets. I might also get gank carrot is what it is. The bright side is that I don't really lose much farm if I keep dying uh, while taking waves while I die. Ah, I tried to dodge his uh, thing, his Q. Uh, there's no chance I would have won that anyway, even if I did, but definitely would have given me a better shot. Yeah, wow, that Q actually did no damage. What is he maxing then? Because apparently it's not his Q. Maybe a Z. Maybe E and W. But yeah, what I mean that I barely lose farm so long as I'm farming wave before I die. Uh, I died on this wave, and I'm gonna get here basically in time to get every single CS except one actually. Literally every single CS except one. I lose one CS for that death. And if I'm forcing Auction to go kill me there, then it just means that he's not killing anybody else, and I'm not even losing farm for that. And if they don't come and kill me there, then I get a free turret, you know? I'm not saying it's good that I die there, obviously I'd rather survive, but it is at least pressuring the map. Should I rotate mid here? I think I should. 
If the fight seems to be ending... Oh, careful, careful. Yeah, I can try and clean up here, but we'll see. Well, that's not good. I've nearly got ult. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay, I'll bit of this flash. Yeah, I wanted to check whether W flash even works or not. <laughs> I wasn't sure about that. It's fine though. Regardless, I would not have killed him if he had flash anyway. So he should he didn't need to flash, for the record. He should have been fine. Ugh. I have to miss the cannon, sadly. But yeah, he did flash for whatever reason, so that's nice. Alright, I can base for Renan's now. Could maybe try out Navori in this game because I feel like I might really need them extra mobility. I can't really farm mid there because auction will kill me, and that actually will cost me farm. It's one thing to die when I'm all the way pushed up over there, and one thing to die when I'm just in the middle of the lane and the wave is about to crash. Oh, come on. That's sad. Did somebody flash at least? I hope so. Didn't catch whether they did or didn't. Let's take the small ones and leave the big one for Fiddle. Can sell Cole if I want to now. The nice thing about Cole though is that I'm actually... Ooh. Got the big one, nice. <laughs> the nice thing about Cole though is that I'm getting um, some synergy between that and Runans. So every time I hit three minions with Runans, I'm getting nine healing per hit, which is quite a lot of sustain, so I might just keep it as long as I can. Uh, should I jump in here? I think I should. Oh, no kill for me, though. Should I cleanse here? Yeah, let's try and kill Morgana. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Yeah, I got her. Not bad, could be worse. And I definitely want to hold on to um, the kill over just a random ass longsword. Thank god Morgana died, that was about to be insanely tilting. Okay, it's such... There wasn't actually a shutdown on Ash, so it's not really a problem that the Relance all got the kill. I mean, just from a like, game perspective anyway, like it doesn't actually matter who gets the kill between me and the Relance all. Uh, we're both, you know, really good scalers. It's just obviously from a smurf perspective, uh, I'm more confident that I, will, that I will carry with kills than this random person. Nice, huge. That is huge. So the fact that Fiddlesticks, as a not hyper carried, tried to steal that, that is insanely bad. Would have been insanely bad. I got the kill anyway, so it works out. I can keep on pushing. <clears throat> nice. But yeah, full Navori is going to be really nice this game, because I feel like I really need extra survivability. And I don't really need extra damage, because their comp is fairly squishy. Huge. Okay, now I'm gonna worry. Just pick and dump some embers before I base, why not? Uh oh. Wow, he still speeds away while he's silenced. It's awkward not having a turret here because this is this would be protection from auction. We have no idea where auction is, so we have to back off. 
At least until we have enough numbers that we're confident we would survive. Oh, they did Baron. That sucks, I had no blue trinket or anything and our jungler was nowhere near. At least I got Runan, so I've got some wave clear. But yeah, that's a bit rough. They shouldn't get to do Baron in a situation like that. The hell is he doing? What? He just randomly dies. Oh wow, and so does she. What the fuck? Alright. Uh I can go mid. Oh, hello. This doesn't make sense. How are they just throwing like this? What? Nice one. Alright, well it's easily winnable at this point, I guess. Especially if they keep on playing like that. Like, at this point, I think if we do get into a proper 5v5 without them trolling, we may just win anyway because of the amount of gold we've been obtaining. Oh, yeah, the Shirk isn't up yet. I should be pushing this. Okay, let's try it. Akshan is back up. Diana might be in the area. Yeah, there she is. Somebody should have checked that way before me. Imagine if I wasn't smart enough to check that. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really fight here. Like, we've massively messed up. Like, what is Fiddlesticks doing way over there, right? Doesn't make sense. I have no idea if Diana has ult up or not. I think she probably doesn't, or I think she would have used it on Lulu, but... Yeah, we've really griefed this. I'm gonna have to give up that Drake then. I don't have a blue drink it up anymore. Yeah, so Lulu should have like, checked that brush way before I should, and Fiddlestick should have been with us, and not just randomly puffed over here while there's a threat over there, you know? Oh man. That sucks. An ally has been slain. Can maybe collect on here? Nice, huge. Uh, there is a Garen pushing, though. That's kind of down, but I don't... Oh! Ash is actually super low. I didn't realize that. I was going to say, I don't think I can kill Ash 1v1. Uh, but I don't see her. Oh. Well, she can waste a lot of time like this. I could get E back up again soon, though. That was actually insanely close. What the hell? Did she live still a bunch or what? Did not expect that to be that close. Maybe it was all the poke I took from her W while she was running. I'm just gonna recall. I don't want to risk dying here. Oh my god, I have so much gold, by the way. I think we'll do Lord Doms. Yeah. There we go. This guy should be careful. Oxon could be in the area. He's risking death to farm right now. Farm that could go to his hyper carry. I didn't get to see why that was so close. It's not like I was missing shots, right? No, she just did a ton of damage insanely fast. Or I just started off lower than I realized.
Nice. Nice one, Fiddle. Another good fight over here, it looks like. Okay, we don't want to waste too much time here, Garen. It's going to be trying to split push here. There could be an invisible lock on cancels my base now. Oh, there's an Ash. Where's Zeal? Where's Zeal here? Nice one. Yeah, so the Zeal actually did a lot there, I want to say. I was barely keeping up with Garen there, and I think it was thanks to Zeal. Like, these Zeal items, even though they don't, like, mathematically do the most DPS, if you just test it on, like, a practice tool dummy or do a spreadsheet or whatever, um, like, it can just add so much damage just by allowing you to land more damage. That's why it's so good late game. But not good early game because they just don't get the stats you need. Nice. We might be able to carry this game. Depends. The map state is kind of fucked, but... Ooh. I don't have ult up right now, but... Really? Nice. Okay, let's base, let's base. Was live, Garen. We're good, we're good. Oh my lord. No, I tried so hard, man. I need some gold for... No, actually, how much do I need? No, I could probably already swap this out for Bloodthirster, right? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. I'm not gonna waste too much time chasing that guy. We would love to get that Infernal, or, you know, deny that Infernal Soul. I'm just not sure if it's possible with uh, all these push dance lanes. Actually, they don't have their jungler. I think we can try. Whoa. Oh, come on. What? Oh, come on. I was about to survive if he just hadn't landed like a double shot on me there. Fuck me, man. That is rough. Look at this shit. I was I was about to kill Morgana. He wasn't going to be able to gap close onto me, man. Ah, uh, that's a disaster. What the hell? I should've just dashed away sooner, my bad. But that's exactly why I need that Navori uh, lower E cooldown, right? To increase the chances that I can escape something like that. But I had it up and I didn't use it, so that's a misplay. Alright. Yep, I got Bloodthirster. The next thing, first things first, is just getting an Elixir. Alright, no bad. Not worth turning back for an elixir, let's keep on pushing now, I think. Unless, well, if my team is basing, I'll shove one wave and then go for my elixir. Getting an elixir is just more important than selling boots for an upgrade. Because selling boots for an upgrade, it comes with a downside, obviously, of losing boots, whereas there is no downside to picking up an elixir, it's just straight up extra stats. So I would only ever really recommend up, like upgrading from boots if you can do it as well as picking up an elixir alongside it or if you already have an elixir. Yeah, trying to kill Garen could be nice. I'm gonna try and path towards bot lane, but I need to do it outside of the ward vision range. We should all be going bot, Lulu. It's not the time to clear the ward. This guy getting cut out is unnecessary, though. That's on him if he dies. Wow, that was good timing, though. Hmm. Okay. It's a shame it costs us Fiddle's Flash, but... He does die. Oh, 
Um, that's an awkward fight. God, he's so tanky, actually. Didn't time that right. Oh my god, I didn't mean to dash all the way away! No! Fuck! I meant to finish him, man. Then I thought, oh, maybe it's just a blessing in disguise, because now I can be killed, but no, he just ults me. Fuck, that's a disaster, man. No, but this was horribly played overall for my team. I could have played it better as well, for sure. No doubt, but that was needlessly hard. Alright, GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Zero to Diamond. This game playing Zeri Jana into Ash Pike. Is Ash Pike? No, it's sorry, I'm getting PTSD from the previous game. Kaisa Pike. Gonna walk alongside the wave here, so the enemy bot lane are cheesing from there, which is the best thing for them to do if they don't have to leash. Then we're not gonna be in a position to get hooked there. Jana just choosing to be AFK, that's her choice, I respect that. I'll never deprive a woman of her choice to choose. I want to try and harass Kaisa there. We have the bigger wave so we don't have to focus uh, too much on out pushing them. Nice one. There is an absolute monster clearing those wards. Just a very short Q auto trade there. Uh, once I've wasted my dash, I'm pretty vulnerable to the pike hooks. I just want to get back behind mini cover as soon as possible. Uh, anyway, Zeri should be quite decent into pike since we do have the dash for his hook. If whenever we want to actually use that defensively, pike in general is a lot more effective. It's, the, it's just the same as any hook support. They were a lot more effective into a mobile ADCs. Any ADC with a dash already has a tremendous advantage in just being able to dodge that. As such, didn't even dodge it there, but it gets me behind mini cover incredibly fast the moment I want to. Oop, my butt. Alright, I'm gonna put another point in E, as usual. I don't know if it's doing anything, but I'm hoping that it, that it is. Oh, didn't see that coming. Nice one, careful, careful. Jana is actually quite vulnerable to Pike. Uh, she has good disengage, so she'll be decent later on, but at the moment she is very vulnerable to him. <coughs> Since she doesn't have a dash like I do. I can't hide behind this minion to uh, avoid a high cook since it's about to die. Okay, John is roaming right now. I'm gonna have to play safe here. Pike might try and flank me at some point. I think I'll probably be able to survive that. I'll place a ward now, but... Okay, he's roamed as well. Nice one. I'm just gonna start charging up my passive again, because if I get another trade like that, she is pretty close to death. She has exhaust, so she might not quite die, but she does not want a piece of this, let me tell you. Okay, Pike is back. Probably should have just try, tried harder to land it on Kaisa, actually. There's nothing to do, though, behind minion cover, because I don't want to waste my E here. I got Janna, so now I'm willing to fight. Sadly, can't quite finish her. Oh well. Still, it's uh, summoner for summoner. We can leave this wave here. 
The only thing I regret about this is that I just barely don't have enough gold for Noon Cover. That's literally just the most annoying thing in the world. I mean, I can wait 10 gold, I suppose. Yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. It is a little bit of a precarious time, though. Since I don't want the Swift to crash. Janna's staying there, probably unneeded, but if she does, at the very least, she's in position to raise up. But you can see, I chose a really good time for the space. She was, she needs to base. Uh, no, actually, she's fine, because she already based. Yeah. If this had been a non-cannon wave, this would have already crashed, right? The thing you have to realize about cannon waves is that the, the extra pushing power that the wave gets from having a, a cannon, it does not compensate for the extra tanking power that it gets from having a cannon. So... The entire wave would have, would have died so much sooner if it was a non-cannon wave and it would have crashed so much sooner. But because it's a cannon wave, even though the enemy wave was actually kind of big there, it still just doesn't have time to kill my wave there. And that's why I can get away with a base like that without having to shove out the wave first. <clears throat> Dude, SS things are literally just a scapegoat. Nobody actually listens to them. They just want to die and then see, oh, did they call SS? Oh, they did? Okay, then it's my fault. Oh, they didn't call us as? Oh, then it's their fault. You know, they're just looking for something to blame. John Iron thing her lane, though. Okay, no excuse for that. But, some related to the current death. Like I said, she's just looking for somebody to blame. It's like, oh, you didn't call us as. But I did, though. Oh, but even aside from that, you rented my lane. And it's like, what, what's that got to do with this death that you just had, though? That you're currently flaming me for. But to get E back up. Ah, missed. Cost me a lot of mana, too. <laughs> I want to pressure- Oop, my bad, I didn't mean to click that. I want to pressure her, but if I jump in there, there is a chance I could get hooked. Now he's gonna hook though, so it's all good. Nice, decent damage there. Can't actually hit her with the, my Q there, so we'll just hit her with the passive instead. Yeah, Zeri is so much more effective into these lower range champs, you can see, because the passive damage, it really is so much. So high. If I just get kited outside of my passive range, then it's kind of rough. Okay, he missed his hook. But they're not entering my range, so I can't dash forwards. <clears throat> yeah, I'm dashing forward so much as well, like this lowered mana cost of my E for putting points in it, that I definitely appreciate. Now I gotta start putting points in Q though. Okay, so I can base for Static Shift now. I think I should do that. Careful. She's fine. I would have cancelled my base if she actually got hooked, because that would lead to a more extended fight, but the moment the hook misses, I know that it's not going to lead to any larger fight than that, so I'm good to just finish my base. As much as I want to base there, an extended fight, like, I don't... It's not a smart thing to do, right? Because we're not going to kill them. They're too close to the turf for that to result in a kill. That would be purely about protecting Janna, and then I'm just going to have to try and secure another different good base timing after that. This is a good base timing, because even though I'm, like, recalling faster than the enemies, which usually means, you know, it's you kind of feel that forcing them out of the lane. Uh, I've missed, like, what, one CS there? So it's all good. All good. And maybe I can even... Force Zara to miss some CS here regardless. Kaisa, brother. 
There we go, super fast wave clear. At the very least, I should be able to get a plating here. Again, I'm the first to recall, so I'm the one that's slightly advantaged there, so long as I pick a good timing. Boom. Alright, I don't have these, so let's back off for now. Got her. I could probably beat her in an extended fight if I want to jump in an ult here. Yeah, fuck it. Can't quite finish her, sadly, but it's pretty good damage. Got her. Nice. And we got the plating. So I'm guessing I'm dead? Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. I got accomplished everything I set out to do, didn't I? I got the kill. I got the turret. Kaisa got no assist, even. I got the plating, I should say. I got the wave. Not this wave, but that's fine. It's an even wave. Me and Kaisa will miss about equal amounts. Next up, Zeal. Damn. Damn. Oop, my bad. Uh, I'll pop Ghost here so she can't hopefully force too good a trade there. Oh, she took a third shot, so that wasn't even all that good for her as it could have been. Nice. Okay, she used ult and exhaust there. That's really not bad. I used Ghost as well, but it's not as important as exhaust is for her in fights. That was into a bigger wave as well. She's still healthier though. She might have taken a honey for actually. It's kind of annoying. Okay, got a flash. I'm not gonna lie, still off the wave, and she's kind of zoned off of it. I don't currently have my E. Ooh. We did a lot of damage there, though. Nice one. I need Janna with me, protecting me. That was risky. <laughs> that was really risky. Really risky. I thought that was going to hit me, and apparently so did he, because he was that confident that he ulted. <laughs> I so get about 10 CS per minute. Alright, we can shove one more wave after this, I think. I've got a lot of wave clear. So I can get away with this. Oh, and it's not even a kind of wave which I thought it was. Just by eyeballing it on the map. Would love to get the turret, but I don't know if it's a realistic option, and I don't want to waste my time trying. Because if Pike is still here alongside Kaisa, then it would probably just fail. Alright, let's go. Let's just try Runans again. We've already tested plenty of Phantom Dancer, in my opinion. For what it's worth, I thought the previous game was pretty doomed, but uh, we ended up almost turning that around. Well, we did turn it around, we just ended up dying, or losing the game off of a silly mistake. And that was with Runan's second, so... Who knows? Maybe it was the Difference Maker. Gonna block the W. Killing the cannon immediately after that, because in case she wants to ult in on me, I need to focus her, which means I can't kill the cannon, but I'm gonna be getting focused by the cannon, right? So I want to take it out of the way immediately, once it's no longer needed to get my cannon down. Just so in case she decides to ult me, I'm not at the disadvantage of getting focused by the cannon there. Should be using that a bit more in a zoning manner. Oh boy. It's 
It's probably good ult. Oh. Nice. I can space cast it pretty well, so now that Pika doesn't have ult, whoa. It's gonna say there's no concern here, but you know what? Maybe slight concern about the Syndra. How did I get hit by something there? Oh my god. Ah, there's no point flashing, because obviously she's gonna ult me. It doesn't and even if she didn't, I'm still getting massively collapsed on there, right? There was no point. There was no hopeless revel there. It was too big a collapse. Sometimes like these you just close your eyes. Curl up into the fetal position and cry jungle diff. Nearly got Renance. Should get this turret though, over getting that red buff. Because I'm not guaranteed. If I do have a window to kill this turret here, like if nobody's defending it, there's no guarantee that I'll still have that window once I get the red buff, right? Should be fine here to use my E though. Shove this wave, right? Again, without Navorius, just riskier to do that. But can still be worth it. Also, obviously got some cooldown reduction on it from putting three points in it already. Uh, I could probably do with basing. Should I just base right now? At the moment, so nobody's going to lose out on bot lane farm if I were to base right now. Particularly because, obviously, our turret is, here is down. And as mentioned before, that offers you a little bit more freedom. I mentioned it in the context of, like, roaming the map, but also just in terms of, like, recalling. You know, you can get away with more recalls. Did some damage, guys. Oh my god, wait, I'm dead here. What? I didn't expect him to be there, my bad. That was pretty silly of me. He, there was no reason why he couldn't be there. Yeah, we had no idea where he was. I just assumed he wasn't in the brush for some reason. My bad. Oh no. Oh no. She could have just distortioned until Vera there. Like WR, you know? I need to use QE. She doesn't have to be stingy about her ultimate cooldown. That's LeBlanc. No way to save this turret, sadly, but maybe I can land a little bit of poke at the Kaisa? Not even that. Actually, if I had rushed to the turret, maybe we could have saved it with the Jana Shield. So, three deaths in, but I still have 10 assists per minute, which is really nice. Oh, for fuck's sake, the exhaust. Ow. Okay, that's fine. Ult for ult, right? Or at least ult for exhaust, anyway. I don't know if I need Infinity Edge this game, like, I could do Navoria's again this game, but... I also don't... F I'm not, I don't feel like I'm gonna struggle as much in terms of survivability, so I, I guess I'll just maximize my damage.
Uh, can we even fight here? This is so risky when we're getting flanked by Fiora. Like, Fiora being behind this is a guarantee that, oh, you're gonna lose this fight? You're all dead then. Nobody is surviving. Hella risky to just commit to a fight in that position. Oh, puppy. Nice one. Okay, I can base for a BF sword here. Oh, that was a new word. Careful, Janna. There was a pike there, right? I didn't imagine that. Yeah, he was there. <laughs> okay. How much ability haste do I have right now? 19. Oh, because of a blue buff as well, okay. I was gonna say, I've got a pretty nice reduction on my... E cooldown. It's currently down to 15 seconds. It starts the game off at 22 seconds. So, it's 7 seconds cooldown lower. It's both from the points in it, and also from whatever ability haste I have. Some of that also being from the uh, embers, so it's gonna stay after blue buff disappears. Some of it, anyway. Gonna shove one wave here, right before the drake. Can't use E. If I had Navori, I could probably use E here, but... Gonna be a little bit cautious about that cooldown without Navori. Um... Can we fight here? Fuck it. Oh. Well, that sucks. Alright, there's nothing to accomplish here, sadly. Golem's not even up, so I can't farm those. Okay, I'll go for wolves, maybe, because everything else is either pushed up or just far too risky to go for right now. Like, bot lane, hella nice, but it's also exactly where the enemies are, so... So, can't... don't have time to, like, back up Quinn or anything, so... Now I'm just gonna do wolves for the sake of doing something. Nice. And I think I'll just rush bot, and we'll get Infinity Edge. Yeah, that was a hell of a mess of a fight. That was really badly played. There was not much to do there. I felt tempted to get a pink ward there, but honest to god, like, my pink wards never pay off. They always are just minus 75 gold for no reason. Minus 105 gold once the enemy's lost at it. I think they're much better in coordinated play than they are in solo queue. In solo queue, I prefer them in lane. Sometimes. Actually, I shouldn't have used my E. Whoa, are we gonna get punished for that? I'll have to pop Ghost at the very least. Just to be safe. Yeah, my bad. Shouldn't have used E. Ugh. I 
wanted that. Hmm. <laughs> oh, fuck sake, Syndra. I have to flash out. Ah, that's annoying. She wasn't even part of the fight, then she still carried it. Okay, the starting Baron. I'm low and I don't have ult, so this is really awkward, but oh! Nice, huge shutdown. Okay, they can't do Baron anymore. A little bit of risk from me there, getting into a Syndra ultimate range, but I don't think I would have died. I would think I just would have been knocked to like half HP. I got E up here. Huge. Okay, is that just a free burn for us now, or what? What the hell was that? Currently gaining 57 on hit when I use my E, by the way. There is value in using that on Baron. It's also a pro of Navori, is just having your E up more often, and just having that on hit up more often. Which doesn't necessarily lead to more damage than Infinity Edge. It doesn't. But, you know, you get compensated with some damage for having that, um... Lower E cooldown. <clears throat> I don't need anything besides Zeal here, do I? I mean, Lord Dominic's might be nice, but honestly, I would rather have movement speed. Yeah, Quinn can go bot, that's fine. Janna shouldn't be walking up there, because she's just burning up the wave and making it push towards them, which is denying me farm. But I don't want to go mid over getting the red buff right now. But Janna's just being greedy for no reason there. Like, this entire wave is gone, and it's Janna's fault, right? No way around that. She just cost me at least 3 CS, maybe 4. Collapsing on Quinn. No, she got away. Easily. Drake is up in 30. Oh man, this is awkward because I actually nearly have my Phantom Dancer, but I don't think I'm gonna have time to base for that, sadly. Unless, I mean, I do have Baron buff, right? Yeah, I do. I can do, I can do this, I can do this. Oh, careful, guys. How much AD did I gain from that? I just can't gain 31 AD from this purchase, and it's even more whenever I actually hit people with Phantom Lancer. I think I'm good here. No! No, I nearly had Vago too, my bad. I definitely misplayed that to an extent, but I did really good work for being like 2v or 1v4 or whatever it was. Sadly, I didn't kill the enemy jungler though. She is, he is very low though. Ah, uh, but it's just not gonna be enough. If anything, I just baited my team into a bad fight. But at least I got a bunch of gold for it, I'm not gonna complain. Oh, nice one, Poppy, actually. Only she had a boss gone. Ooh. Sequent TP. Which I feel probably won't get anything, but we'll see. Oh! Oh, Quinn, no. So greedy. Hmm. I maybe just want to hold on to this. Because I might just... Yeah, I think I'll just go for the Lost Whisper. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. I'm back, I'm back. Come back here. So currently sitting on 443 movement speed. An ally has been slain. Could just be on Raptors, but I can't risk it.
Doesn't seem like we're being followed. Last one, Jana. Should I join there? I think I should. It's not a fight happening right now, but there might be soon. I'd rather be grouped with the team anyway. I'm not much of a split pusher. Not gonna have ult though. Ow. Ow. Oh, I should be fine. I'm <laughs> without John Ult. But it's appreciated. Huge W there. I got ult back up. Should I need it? Next objective is up in 30 seconds, Baron. I might want to base for Lost Whisper. But I can't be the only one basing though. I need to support my team as long as they want to stay on the map. But if Poppy's basing, perfect excuse for me to base as well. Somebody at least should get the red buff, but it could be Quinn. Should be good to farm a mid wave alone here, I think. Yeah, the enemies are distracted. We'll shove this and then rotate towards the fight. Just need to keep the camera on myself a little bit, make sure I'm not being collapsed on. Nice one, guys. Can we start this? I'm not sure. The enemy jungler is still alive. So maybe not. Okay, Kai's a buff for some reason. Should be good then. Best shot we'll get, I think. Seems to be Kai'Sa just trolling, to be honest. Doesn't make sense for her to be there. Nice. Seems- I can't believe the enemies just didn't expect us to do Baron there when their ADC showed, but... Like, the enemy- aside from Kai'Sa, the rest of their team just was walking up super late. Like, they wanted to contest, but they seemed to be caught off guard by a starting Baron. Like, what? Uh, I do need to stick around here. Oh my god, wait, what? Oh, okay, Sandra ulted me. I thought that was only pike damage. I was like, so confused. Well, that sucks, man. Only thing I could have done was flash the pike key. Literally just 1,100 damage from Sindra pressing R. My god. That blows. That's soul for them as well. That is rough. If I thought Sindra was doing a lot of damage before, imagine now. Gats has also done pretty well, actually. Begs the question why she's trolling. Or why she was trolling and gave us free Baron anyway. Do I maybe want to sell static ship for a maw? It would help somewhat against the guys as well, but not much. Or maybe I just want the pure tank item in uh Jack Show. Which I could do very soon if I do want to do that. I think it might be worth it to be honest. Whoa. Nice one. There we go.
Tim's gonna be careful though I'm not there. I'll shove in one wave and then I will be there. So there's a strong push? No, I need to try and carry a fight. I do feel the damage loss from growing a tank item. I shouldn't have ulted, this is such a waste. There's no, actually no other enemies here, my bad. Well, on the buy side, I'm not taking damage now. Is that AP Kaisa? No, she just has enough AP for her evolve, okay. Ah, oh, fuck me, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, the rest of the team... If I was gonna keep pushing forwards, like, at least the Janna should have been supporting me, but... Yeah, whatever. I fucked up. The one thing I could have done better here was, like, flash the Pike Ult, but aside from that, like, I, I still die anyway, so it's a good thing that I didn't. I guess we should have been backing off, though. I guess. I mean, we also had LeBlanc uh, pressuring bot, though. Poppy basing? Sure, that's fine, she's low HP, but she wasn't even basing, it's just Janna basing for no reason, though. Janna def- like, at the very least, it doesn't matter whether we're making the wrong call there. At the very least, she should, like, suggest to me, like, no, sp like, spamping me back if you disagree with the call, right? But don't just ignore my call and go do your own thing. Oh my lord. Can't saw this yet, we'll just do Elixir. Yikes. Actually, I don't have 100% crit this game. So I could sell my boots for Farkanen instead of... Opportunity. Probably gonna be the smart thing to do. So I have 100% crit. Definitely makes more sense. Alright, I managed to survive. I wasn't expecting the fucking exhaust. It's such a dumb summoner, man. Got her. Nice. Honestly, fucking hate exhaust, man. Jesus. Burn is up in 30. I need the base. I can upgrade my build. Right? Actually, I'm barely gonna have it, but I think I should, yeah. Careful, guys. Nice. This is actually 2% more move speed than having... Uh, whatever it's called. Opportunity. So we have 409 movement speed and that's without a Cloud Drake. Literally over 400 movement speed without boots, man. It's nuts. Oh, careful. I don't have ult. Ah, it doesn't matter. I guess they're dead anyway. Oh. Uh? I'll pop Ghost because I'm pretty sure I can get him here easily. There we go. Was he trying to cancel bases? I guess he was because I only just noticed Fiora. I may as well have refreshed my elixir there, but I didn't get it in time. Nice. I, sh I shouldn't try and kill still, actually. I'm over I've already uh, got fill bold. Yeah, probably Elder is going to be the best thing to do here. Damn, I'm actually going to spread Elder so hard with my ult, by the way. Soul. No, it's Elder. It's not Soul. Wait, she actually tried to hold there. Oh, 
Oh. Uh. Oh my god, that Syndra. Alright, Kaisa died, Syndra died. Let's get this thing. And yeah, we can rush this. Fiora might have TP. So at least one person base in there would be quite nice. Honestly, if Fiora does TP there, I feel like even more than one person has to base. Yeah, I think I have the base here. Need to be absolutely sure, because if we get this wrong, Fiora ends. We can't take too big a risk here. Hopefully my team are fine. Got her. Alright, perfect. Now I gotta rush over here. There's a chance that Viego could steal this, by the way. Yeah, sad. That's what it is. Well played Viego, well played Fiora. Still, they have a lot of deaths right now and we still have Elder. As for Baron, they only get one Baron. The most they really did here was just the... Uh, deny it from us, not actually get it from them for themselves. Oh. What the hell? Ow. Okay. If I'm willing to lose some movement speed, I could also just actually get Fire Cannon instead of Bloodthirster. I don't know if I am, though. But it could be nice, potentially. I'm gonna lose, like... 20-ish movement speed? Which is a lot, man. I don't think I will. And the jack show just seems too good as well. Fuck, that, I thought that was Fiora. Jeez, I wasn't expecting to get stunned there. Okay, I live. Get her. Thank God for Jack Show. Alright, what's next? I guess I, I guess I can pick up red buff here. Hardly need the base. Maybe we should just do Navori though, for better kiting. Mm -hmm. But if, I, if, if I'm wrong about it being better, then it could cost us the game though, it's kind of a close game. I'll just take the Infinity Edge because it seems to be working. I mean, it's not that I necessarily think it's better, it's just, you know, I, I'm willing to try it out, but maybe not if it's going to cost me the game if it does turn out to be worse. Get him, guys. I'm going to be defending mid lane. Okay, nobody even here. Elder up in a minute. Uh, 
I say we push bot, to be honest. There's no point going mid. We've already got the inhib there. Hmm, my Lex is running out. One person can push mid. It makes zero sense for my team to be a three-man unit on mid lane right now. All they're see is pushing bot. Ooh, this should be good. Fucking pike from behind, what the hell? What? Jesus, okay. Uh, there's only one person alive, that is Fiora. No idea where she is, but... She can only defend one place at a time, so... Okay, and now she can't defend anything, so we're gonna end. GG. I think the Infinity Edge just should have worked out better, to be honest. Although E is useful, like, I didn't necessarily need it too much there. GG. Alright, gamers, we are back for another game of Zero to Diamond. This game playing Zeri Nami into Caitlyn Teemo. Speaking of Teemo, this guy could be absolutely anywhere right now. Could even be here. He probably wasn't, but he could have been. Decided not to run cleanse for the Teemo, even though I could tell it was going to be Teemo support. That may have been a smart choice, it may have been a bad one, we will see. Just didn't really feel cleanse would be all that necessary for this game. Particularly if I just keep cutting away from the Teemo. I don't know how the game, the matchup is actually going to play out, but we'll see. And I don't even know, like, um... Whether Timo Blind actually like blocks my shots or not, you know? Uh, this could be good. Yeah, he's dead. Unless... Okay, not quite dead. That is a strong word which doesn't really apply here in hindsight, but... Oh my god, this block. I probably should have just flashed on him sooner. She's still level 1, by the way. She's dead there. She needed to flash away as well. <laughs> Nice one, Nami. Oof, I was so worried I was gonna miss that. Nice. I think we can try and shove one wave here. Actually, no, we're just gonna go for the planning. I was gonna try and get the wave, but it's so unlined up right now that, to be honest, no, not smart. If I could have, like, right now, right now, I could clear that insanely fast with my E, right? But the way it was before, I just couldn't, so let's not risk it. Better. Sure, let's do this. <laughs> I'm so much faster than you, Nami. Stupid bitch. Another uh, second point than E. We could try just the one point than E this time. The one extra point than E instead of the two extra points that I usually do, but... I'm not gonna notice the difference anyway, to be fair. At the moment, I'm just like... blindly trusting that it's possibly doing something. Oh, hello, what the fuck? Oh, right, it makes my Qs go in random directions. It's kind of funny. I forgot about that. I don't know why they didn't just make it, you know, work like normally, where it just... It hits, but it doesn't do anything. I 
God, the damage. Nice. And that should be kill. And Dad doesn't even get a chance to flash. Well played, Nami. These blinds are just so funny, man. Yeah, it could be a Davin Teemo. Let's flank him. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Nidalee, I'm so sorry. Didn't expect her to go in. Definitely not the best execution, but without voice chat, that's, you know, a bit hard to coordinate. Could I shove this wave? Sure, let's try it. Oh, I need to be careful not to hit Caitlyn. Alright. Another second cooldown reduction on my E. Plus, better wave clear. If I put another point in it, yeah, I'll do it. I feel like I already have enough AD when I got this call. I'm just gonna build a dagger. Which hopefully should give us Berserkers on the next base with any luck. An ally has been slain. I was thinking of flanking kill in there, but nope. We know what here is bot side, so... Gotta play safe for now. Hi, right, buddy. We'll just keep the wave frozen here. Or maybe freeze isn't the right word, but we're gonna hold the wave on our side of the map. There we go. This forces them to overextend a bit more, keeps us a little bit safer. Nice try, that was a close one. Hello, Timo. The hell? Nice one. Um, Dude, I actually was not expecting it to flash in at all, so I was so shocked I think I missed my Q, but... Nice one. Whoa, what the hell? Nice one. Jesus. That was unexpected as well. Uh, Kellen doesn't have ult, right? No, she's level 4, not even close to 6, so... We should be able to get this plating as well. There we go. Now let's get out of here. No shrooms from Timo either, he's only level 5, so we know we're not running into anything here. I'll just sell my berserk- my, sorry, my potion so I can get berserkers. Should also maybe consider getting a red buff. This guy is way overextended here, by the way. They might have been trolling from her, I'm not sure. Nice. Super strong right now. Get it, get it. Nice.
And I guess we'll just do Renan's again, mostly this time because I can afford a dagger and not a longsword, so you know what? Like, if they're that close together in power anyway, why not just base your decision off of whether you can buy a longsword or a dagger? Uh, this top lane swap idea is actually not too bad from Caitlyn, except this should be me doing it. Hmm. I could go mid as well, though. Kessadin is recalling anyway, so that's gonna be perfect. He has plenty of time to go bot now. Skaterin is a little bit ahead, so... Gotta watch out for that. We could also just have set swap to top. Oh, sorry, swap to mid, I guess. Whoa. Okay, double kill for me. Uh, my ghost feel is really stupid now. But it will. We save the turret as well on top of turning that gank around. And we get a ton of platings here. A ton. So we know Katarina's mid. For the record, we're paying attention to that. We're looking to see, like, are we getting ganked by the mid laner right now? No. Jungler is dead. Top laner is bot. So as far as I can tell, uh, I should be perfectly fine to just go for all these platings. Super fast wave clear. Katarina's dead, so I'm still not being ganked by her. This guy just immediately ran back top, okay. One more plating at least. Oh boy. I'll just get out of here. Play it safe. I face worse than Zon. We can win. <clears throat> Brent is ghost in the process too. Problem isn't quite low now. I don't think I would die to a Kitlin ult, but I would certainly be made quite low by one. This is mainly for life still. I don't actually care about clearing that. I heal a lot right now from Bloodline, Durance Blade, and Coal Collection. And so, already see I'm back to half HP. Oop, my bad. Okay, it was a decent trade. But she doesn't have E right now. Ow, can you block? Alright, may as well. Wasn't sure if it was worth it or not, but sure. Didn't just see Teemo, did I? No. I thought I might have seen a flicker, like when he's invisible. Alright, I've got E, so I'm perfectly fine to escape any kind of Udyr gank, to be honest. This wall is just... impossible for him to penetrate to while I can just dash in any direction I want. Can go straight to the right, can go up here, can go down here. Doesn't matter where he ganks me from, I've got an escape no matter what. Super inconvenient for him. Uh, let's get away from her. Ah, uh, this is the only collapse that can kill me though, a double collapse. Okay, huge shutdown to the idiot, which I would much rather give to him but than, to uh, than to Katarina, to be honest. Enemy rampage. Safe base, you are the wing con. <laughs> Bro, like, come on, how can I... Like, it's such an unexpected move, right? At that point, you just say, yeah, we'll play to the enemies. Nice one. Props to me to handing over the shutdown to the least valuable person. Instead, it's like, no, what the fuck are you doing, Zeri? You fucking dumbass, you stupid bitch, you fucking asshole. Cocksucker bitch, dumb, stupid ape asshole. Don't do that again. You silly Billy. <laughs> nice one, Zero. What? What does that even have to do with me? But... What? She's blaming me for her death, even though nobody spent the gold they had. <laughs> I'm just gonna meet her. She's being completely irrational. I'm pretty sure I was literally just finishing off the wave there, right? Or the turret, I don't remember. But I, I'm sure I wasn't recalling. Or at least if I did, it still would have ended up about the same. Because that dude, you're flanking me either way. I'm 
I might just try the uh, Navori again, though. This is once again a game where they're not really that tanky, so... Well, we could try out the extra mobility option of Navori. Plus, there is a chance that it just straight up one-shots people harder than... Nice. That it one-shots people harder than Infinity Edge. Because the extra burst from Navori on your ultimate, and also your passive. Your passive also actually gets uh, increased by Navori, but your Infinite Edge does not amplify that. But my R and passive onto a champion are both huge amounts of burst. So yeah, we'll try that. <clears throat> Run fast, charge up, shoot the bad guy. Easy enough. Oh, yeah, let's meet the Nidalee. And maybe gank this Katarina. Missed. Ah, oh, I love the pop ghost here. Shame. Good outcome though. Now we go back mid. Or we get no farm, sadly. Okay, that's not up. I really should get a red trick at some point for these rooms, or let's try and base. Oh, hello, Timo. Oh, does that kill me? What? Wait, what damaged me? Oh, is it this thing? Probably, yeah. It was an explosion. Well, that is rough. That is after he called Nami, still had the burst to fucking kill me as well. Dude, between all the shrooms and that, that was literally just 100% Teemo, nothing else. Dude, look, I... It ba he basically did as much damage as I have HP. Entirely died to Teemo. And half of it across the map. Sad. There was a ward there, by the way, whoops. Okay, so we're gonna get Red Trinket, and we're also actually gonna do Bloodthirster here, so we can more easily recover from... Uh, the poke that is basically what Teemo Shrooms are. Teemo Shrooms are poke. What do you build against poke? You build sustain. I think it's too risky to push another... Oh, the, the Drake is still up. I kind of assumed they would have taken that by now. Yeah, too risky to push the top lane wave. In hindsight, because the Drake is up, I'm sure the enemies are going to be there, so... I would be fine, but I still want to rotate to there, see if we can get that Drake. I'm on the way. Nice one, guys. Alright, that should just be the Drake for us then, regardless of what I did. <gasps> Dude, I almost walked into that. Thankfully, I can, I can clear shrooms so fast as well, actually. It's so nice. That's what I have envisioned before the game. Clearing shrooms would be like a Zeri and it. Yeah, it's really nice. Maybe we get Katarina here? Somebody's around besides Katarina, though. Oh, I don't have Blue Trinket, obviously. Alright, that's fine. Okay, Seth wants to go top lane, that's fine, we can let him have the farm.
Whoops. It's kind of awkward that, like, some shots of Zero's Q have more range than other shots. I don't know why it's like that. I would like it to be more consistent than that. Like, how are you meant to know the actual true range of Zero Q if, like, there's, like, different actual ranges? <laughs> there's, like, ooh, there's the minimum damage range, there's the half damage range, there's the max damage range. Like, what? Just give me the actual, like, what's the range, bro? I just want to know. She low? She is. Come on. Oh my god. There we go. Nice. Where's that Caitlyn? I just saw her somewhere. Alright, I can already base for Bloodthirster, but I like to shove in one more whiff. Nice. <clears throat> you messed the dive up? Like I said, that was on everybody, that first dive. That's just like, miscommunication. In a game where there is no communication, you know? Like, nobody's to blame for that. I don't blame Nidalee for dying there. I could partially blame myself, sure, I maybe could have pl tried to play it in a way where it was completely idiot-proof, but, you know. It's just not important to signing blame in a situation like that. I don't know why these people don't just meet her. This is not productive for our chances of winning, as people are arguing with Nidalee. Okay. Small gets wasted, that's fine. It is what it is. We're also forced to flash. Who was the flash? I think Timo. <clears throat> that's one. Could be quite good. Could be. Oh, he stepped on a shroom before he went over, though. Careful. Ah, kind of was hoping that would go over this thing. Whoa. I don't have ult, so I can't necessarily kill him, but oh, I'm doing a lot of damage actually. Nice one. To be fair, I do have a lot of... I definitely have more upfront damage when I go Bloodthirster compared to when I go, uh, like, a second ZL item. The second ZL item is purely for movement speed, not for maximizing DPS. Might be a kill opportunity here. There is an enemy wave coming soon that she could dash onto. Oh. Jesus. Oh, he just left. Damn. That's rough. Right, I forgot about that. <laughs> I can actually clear those before... Yeah, before they can explode. That's funny. <laughs> that feels so illegal. How did that hit him? Got him. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I need to walk away from the minions. Oh. Enemy team got the Drake. Ha that is awkward. We literally had Pryo there. Oh well. Do I really do want to base? Don't 
don't think I need to do Lord Dominic's this game, at least not yet. I'll probably steal it, that's fine. <laughs> if I timed it better, I could have still uh, secured it. Secured. Nice, I'm pretty sure he stunned the wolf there. That or Cassidy, one or the other. Definitely wasn't me. Close. Actually, if I'd used W, maybe I could've killed him. Ow. Ow, what the- How many shrooms did he place without us noticing? What the fuck? Actually, I gotta go sustain. I gotta make sure there's not another shroom there, because if there is no raptors to life still for him, I die. Uh, somebody just got an inhib, apparently. What the hell? My bad, I was distracted. Gonna show one more wave, too, while I'm here. The mental of this Nidalee is absolutely insane, though. Insanely bad, obviously. Okay, uh, I think our next move is gonna be to sell Static Shiv for Lord Dominic's. Because they are starting to get some armor. I've got no red trinkets, so I'm a bit wary about venturing too far there, especially not without help. Of course, there's shrooms still here, though. It's a little bit risky to pot like this, but I think we win this. Fuck. Oh, God damn it! The team of blinds is actually so annoying. I think I did make the right choice overall, going ghost instead of cleanse. But it is still really annoying when I do get hit by that. In fact, maybe the, I might just want to do Mercurial Scimitar instead of... or Dominix. It is pretty good against Teemo. Yeah, there's no point basing on back to full HP. Next rake up is up in a minute. That's just a scouting W. Just leaving me no choice but to take Raptors. Oh, thank God. I can kill her. May feel a bit overkill using ult, but I'm not sure I could have killed her otherwise. No. No. Holy shit, that guy was fast, by the way. Jesus. I guess he probably proc'd phase rush on me last time when I eat through the wall. That plus ghost plus Nimbus cloak, I guess that's how he reached me so fast there. I think it might just be a Lord Dominic's angle, though. They are quite tanky. Your team has 
<clears throat> Dude, how is every single game today, by the way, reaching full build? Not just full build, but I swear to God, every single game has me swapping out another for a better upgrade. And also swapping out boots for an upgrade as well. Every single game, like what? It's not even just about being fed, that is about being fed and the game goes long enough. It's more about the game length rather than about how fed you are, you know? Well, obviously both is quite good. Oh, Jesus, my bad. Uh, there's no point in flashing, I'm already dead. Oh, I don't have flash, good. Nothing to waste then. Oh no. That sucks, yeah, my bad. I didn't consider that. But he could just turn like that and obviously Timo Blind would make it so I couldn't do anything anyway after the CC. Is Timo's wrecking us? Honestly. It's like this every time, man. Like Timo's support is honestly, I swear to God, it's broken. Like I don't... I don't know when it became broken, but every fucking team of support just kills fucking insane over the past year or so. Oh, wow. He's got a really good run with a new support item, actually, the one that he's using. Oh, I guess it adds shroom damage, right? Yeah, wow. It's got such a low cooldown as well. It basically applies in every shroom unless you get hit by consecutive shrooms. I don't know if the cooldown is per champion as well or if it's something else, but either way. Yeah, it's a lot of damage he's getting on from this. That's also to his, Q as, uh, to his Q as well, if he just wants to burst someone straight up. Anyway, we have two inhibs down, so we should be able to try and do Baron. Oh, wow, that reached nothing. What the fuck? I guess CW doesn't work. I don't actually really want those. Just want to reduce my equal down. Yeah, they should be trying to respond to set soon. Ooh, nice. Oh. Holy shit, I can clear it. Two wards or two shrooms at the same time. I just realized with my Q. Oh boy. I didn't clear that one. Nor that one. Nidalee's just backing off for no reason as well. Okay, we're gonna have to turn here. Did you see that damage? That is not balanced, man. Fucking hell. That's their support that is ruining my game right now. He's actually a stronger carry than literally every carry on his team. Oh, he was actually there, what the hell? I was like, surely I would know if he was there. Okay. Ah, oh, sad, didn't even get anything done there. It may he got one turret, I guess. Damn, he was so close to him. Yeah, it's fucking rough, man. I might, so I might want to not upgrade, uh, like swap out boost this game, and I'll just sell um, probably Runans, no, so probably Phantom Dancer, or no, actually I think Runans. I'll swap out Runans for Mercurial Scimitar. I think that's all I can do this game. You're on that, ah, but it's done now. All right, I'm gonna need some gold then. A reminder that my team have been arguing with Nidalee for literally the past 25 minutes. Okay. Nice one. 
Careful, it's from there. Nice, he remembered. <laughs> The sad thing is, this is not soul point or anything, because we missed out on one of the previous tricks we should have had. Nice one. Kill and definitely trolling. Ow, forgot about it. That's fine, I've got sustain. Oh, fuck's sake. Timo will be the most damage on their team by far. Okay, huge. Can we also get this other inhib actually? We don't have minions on that side though. The enemies of a Baron. I, th I say we just base and deal with that. Well, the set does want to push. It's kind of rough though, trying to get the top lane inhib without minions. Minions can I help you fight. Yeah, I think it's probably the best that he just lies low for now. Uh, can I swap anything out yet? I can, perfect. <clears throat> so, probably just not going to want to sell boots at this point, because I'll be a little bit slow. Although we do have two Cloud Drakes for out of combat, so maybe that could be good enough. She's getting red, that's fine. I don't want to still farm from Cassidy in here. Even if I can swap out boots, I don't think it's that big a deal for me. So awkward though, watching him slowly push this. We do need team mid as well. Alright, sorry, top. Nami, why are you solo farming? I don't care that there's nobody else there in the late. You're literally full build, bro. Just come. Come. Come top. No point being there. I didn't clear it, what the fuck? I could clear them before, but I can't now. I think they're disappearing faster now. Mmm, that is rough. Uh, hello. Nice one. Just a Teemo now. I can kite him. Oh, no, no, no! Okay. That actually hit me. Fucking hell. Ah. Let's stay away from the minions in case they're tanking shrooms for me. Nice. Okay, maybe we just end now. Maybe. Let it be known, if there was any chance we lost this game, it was purely because of the Teemo pick. Actually, just the most instantly busted shit that people are sleeping on because lol Teemo troll champion. Uh, this is awkward, why aren't the minions on the turret? Ah, uh, it's fine. Alright, GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Zeri to Diamond. This game playing Zeri Karma into Misfortune Nico. So we're going to sneak into this brush over here. After already having covered. Doesn't seem like they were invading. So if they do still invade, you know, that's... It's just not our problem, is it? So... Just going to head into lane here, secure an advantage. This is especially important if, you're ha if you have a support such as Karma. Because so long as they don't have minion cover, then Karma should be able to hit them with an RQ. Looks like... Misfortune is playing it smart. What about the Nico though? Oh, Nico is a minion. I don't know which minion, but I know she's a minion. I literally cannot tell which minion she is. What the fuck? Oh, she was the one that didn't take damage. That's crazy. <laughs> and why are these two casters just really not dead? There we go. Yeah, that is awkward that we couldn't just know. Even we knew it and we knew she was one of them, just no way to know which. Oh well. Yeah, that's obviously the real one. 
Nico, I mean. Not the real minion. <laughs> yeah, that's the real minion juking the karma skill shots over there. Because at some point I'm gonna lose focus and I'm gonna lose track of it. That's the annoying thing. I don't know if it's just an ADHD thing or if it's just like an every person thing, but... I mean, obviously she's making it quite obvious right now, but... Ow. Yeah, I just lose track whenever I spend... Yeah, like, uh, like just now. I need to at least ghost here. I'll have to flash in response to her flash. Okay. I live. Okay, I'm gonna have to base here. Unless... No. I need the base. My bad. Yeah, she was that one caster, of course. Thing is, it's so... Like, you could kind of tell because of the minion movement, but it's actually also just so, like, normal for minions to just randomly move across half the wave to hit the minion at the, minion at the back. But it just doesn't, like, summon any red flags in my mind, man. Alright, I'm hopefully not gonna lose too much here. Karma's... Well, I was gonna say set up in a good position to freeze, but they're not even trying to crash this remotely fast, so... Yeah, it's a wasted opportunity for them to deny me CS. Careful. She should just base. Just base. No point in her staying in lane anymore. Yeah, the only way I can lane against Nico is if they don't even try and do these fucking minion shenanigans. I, I'm literally too ADHD to deal with this shit. Especially if I'm doing commentary at the same time, but honestly, it's not even just that. I can't even use that as the sole excuse. I literally just cannot do it. Off video or on video. Why is she still here, bro? I should have leveled W if I want to get her, but that's fine. I don't need to. That could be Nico still, right? I have no idea. Probably, it's probably just a real misfortune. She should be in lane by now, anyway. Oh my god, two misfortunes. Oh, Jesus. That wasn't too bad a trade after that, though. Oh, she's with that minion, right? No, that's just a randomly fucking massively sped up minion. Oh, man. I need to kill Misfortune now. Yes! And now I need to get out. Yes! Not even close. She will kill me though, like she will straight up turn into a minion and I'll forget about her and I'll die. That's the annoying thing here. Unless Karma can deal with her. Oh! Oh my god, the clone almost actually blocked that, but nice one. Well played Karma. Nico definitely fishing too hard there. Um, Best thing to do here is just basically base. Oh. She, he got rooted, holy crap, I'm actually gonna live if he doesn't have a ward, even if he does. Wow, that's crazy, nice one, Karma. I have a sh small shot down there, so that's really good. But I'm the one that gets to live. What? What? Come on, that's bullshit. <laughs> Let me see that. I don't, I don't see it having disappeared. Even when I try and uh, pause it constantly to slow it down.
Oh, she just messed that up for me for some reason. She messed it up for me for some reason. That's obviously the Nico. Oh no, it's the clone. Okay. Uh, they might actually be basing. Oh. Fucking hell. <sighs> Misfortune baited me by a. Ooh. Ah, oh, fuck me. Nah, there's no dodging that, my bad. Yeah, it's uh, not even the Nico, it's the straight up Misfortune that tricked me there by being in the brush. It made me think that. I, like, it doesn't necessarily make sense for her to base, but you know, like in the moment I hadn't checked her items, I was like, uh, maybe she's like about to get rid of Dirk, maybe she's got like her opportunity pro spike or something, I don't know. Obviously, I should have also been counting the minions because that would have told me there were seven minions there. Like I said, I'm 2D, 2D HD for this fucking champion. the hell? Nice. Let's go. That's probably the clone, yeah. Wait, it's not. Nice. What the hell was she thinking there? Weird. Oh, my wave. Alright, get me out of here. I've got enough for... Just for the static shift, not for a berserk as well, unfortunately. I can wait for another dagger here, too. Just so we get something else here. Oh, God. That was weird. Like, this time it definitely was my fault to an extent, but... Like, it, I... I wasn't aiming down, so I don't know why it disappeared, you know? I found the right angle. I, like, I was up, 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 up. Found the right angle. And then suddenly it disappears again. Like, what? Oh, actually. No, that looks entirely my fault. What? Why do I remember it differently? Oh, man. Dude, I'm still taking damage from Misfortune this whole time. Fuck me, I'm so dead here. I shouldn't have tried, I shouldn't have tried. My bad. But Jesus. That's not good. That is really not good. That's a triple to monster you. But dude, look at how much HP I lost to that misfortune while I was trying to Dude, 722, what the fuck? I thought I was to the side of this ult the whole time, man. Ah, oh, fuck me. Like, I guess my own champion model was blocking the shots. That sucks. Nice, I wasn't gonna get that sadly because of the wall being there. That's gotta be Nico, right? No. What the fuck? I thought I counted the minions. I think I'm fine, though. Nice. What? How did it go to Karma? That sucks. Dude, I, sw I swear to God, I counted the minions. So unless one of them entered the screen... ...without me noticing, I don't get how that happened. Hopefully I get to review that. Okay, nice one. I'm just gonna recall to make another wave so I can review this. There's three melees, three costumes. Okay, so one entered the screen while it <laughs> Like I said, I'm too ADHD for this shit, man. I counted the minions and I, I just... 
I still get caught out by it somehow, like, it's so crazy. Uh, should I go top? Yeah. Trinimer's here. Oh boy, that sucks. Whoa, or is it? She could have maybe tried to kill Salas there. Wait, I could maybe steal this. Did I get it? Oh, he did. Oh, come on. Why is this guy back? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I'll try popping ghost. I'm actually gonna escape, actually. What the hell? Oh, that sucks. Okay, at least I live. <laughs> I can do fail this thing. I don't know how the fuck I lived there. Did he waste his W somehow? Feels like he just straight up didn't use it on me. Taking a small risk here. Yeah, I'm being ganked, but... Come on! This minion! Oh, I'm so fucking tilted, man. I'm in a block. He should have been dead there. Okay, at least I got one plate in here. Ooh! No, ha heist. Let's go. Take it. Nice. There's a Master Yi there. Can I help? No. Most I can do is try and escape. Yes, I managed to stay out of his range. I needed to play that really carefully. I needed to say, like, manage to cover a lot of distance to get away. While also just managing to just barely stay out of his Q range. Otherwise, I'd be fucked. Alright, if I stay here, I'm going to get dived. So I need to just let him have the turret, sadly. He's three levels up on me. Ult or no ult, he will dive me. He will kill me. Uh, I'm going to do Phantom Nessar here. I think I definitely need or want just the most amount of move speed possible to try and stay out of Yi's range. Right, I guess we're going back bot. It doesn't make sense to swap now, though, because Drake isn't spawning anytime soon. And Herald is up, so we would like both our bot lane to be top. The problem is that Karma wasn't actually top with me, so I guess it, I guess it's all the same. Because Karma just apparently has no macro. Didn't think to join her ADC on top lane in all that time. <laughs> as far as I can tell, there's the appropriate amount of minions here. Let's see if we can group there. Oh boy. Oh. Nice one. Kep. I got the Herald. Ooh, I missed the cannon, my bad. I just want to show up one wave and then base. One of those is Nico. Fuck's sake, like, that's before I even have a chance to count the wave. I don't think the entire wave is even on screen yet. Or it could be wrong, maybe I just counted it late, but let's see. Yeah, I, I dashed forwards before I ever saw a fourth minion. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Like, obviously, if this was an actual- wait, was she even the- th was she the third minion of the wave? Wait, she was. But she actually pushed the third minion aside to make it seem like she was the third minion. Look. One coster, two coster, three costers. That coster has to be the real one, right? No. Somehow this is the real one. What? So fucked up, man. I'll go bot. I'm gonna ignore the CS and go for this. 
Not looking good though. I don't even know which is the real Master Yi and which not. Okay, that's maybe the real one. I don't even fucking know, man. Hang on. What? Was there never a real Renekton there? Oh, he's got fucking Shinnam I'm probably screwed here. Oh my god, he's just barely not getting the shots. Okay, I need to just run then. Is he faster than me? He might be. Does he have Lich Pain? No. Might have Relentless Hunter though. Dude, what the- I assumed one of those had to be the real Renekton. Fuck me, apparently the recalling one was the clone, which is like, okay, I knew that was a possibility, I can still chase the other one, which turned out to be a fucking 80% HP Nico. Fucking hell. I, I was worried this Nico might get, make the game unplayable for me, it's pretty much what's happening. Most of it was just lane phase, like, just ADHD, but... At this point, I'm also just way less ahead than I should be if I just wasn't playing against a champion that counters my mental illness. Or disability, whatever you want to call it. Mental quirk. Positivity. It's probably the clone, right? Yeah. I was just trying to stay, um, stay a mile away from every minion right now. Uh, is there anything we can do for Trinomir? Probably not. I can push. No, I can't. So let's probably just do our raptors. I need to try and help here. Oh, she ulted a clone. Which, to be fair, I guess she can't help. Ooh. Oh my god, the EQ'd would me. Oh, I can't catch a break, man. That sucks. Honestly, I need to dodge every Nico support. Like, Nico mid is fine. Nico jungle is fine. They'll catch me out occasionally, but Nico support is literally just free tool to cheese me every 15 seconds. Because even if I count the minions, even if I verify there's not a Nico there, I can't. I just can't notice Nico if she pops up afterwards. Like, she, there'll be a random fourth minion walk into the wave, and I just don't notice, man. Because my attention span is shit. Ah. Should we try and help here? Nah. Even if we should have, it's too late now. This guy is no mana. We should try and kill him. Don't give it the karma, okay. Get her. Holy crap, it took forever. Kill an ADC somehow. Ooh, that's not good. Ah, oh, we got him pinned at the edge. I guess I need to go base for that. Oh, she's dead. This 
guy is so tanky as well as one-shotting people, though. Oh, Jesus, he never even any, ever tried to kill me. I should have just, I guess, flash Eid, but even then I have room to get really unlucky if he just insta cues me the moment I flash. It just sucks, man. I needed to be more ahead to carry this game, and I, I, like, that was n never gonna happen against the Nico who just keeps trying to cheese. Which is all Nikos do, so it was fairly predictable. Could already predict from Champ Select would cause problems for me. It's not the first time. Fuck, I didn't see her. Oh, fuck. I think I failed my passive on Dominion, didn't I? Let's see that. Yep, wasted my passive on Dominion. Fuck. I think I would've lived if not for that. It's a shame that uh, the Nico situation had to happen in a game like this where I needed to 1v9. We tried. Alright. GG.